life. And I'm currently getting stocked up on the important stuff that we're going to need in the process of this build. Now, what we have today is a Thermaltake P90 in a big, gigantic box. I'm probably going to have to move the cameras to get this thing built on screen. And over here in this little area, we have uh, some of the stuff that's going to be sold away slash given away and some of the things that are going in this build. Now, this build is going to be an all Strix, all Thermaltake build as far as we can make it. Um, obviously, there's going to be uh, Thermaltake doesn't do uh, a hard drive and neither does Asus. Uh, I guess we could try to boot it off of like a, an Orion external, which is, you know, something. Uh, but for the most part, it's going to be as much of a thermal take and Asus build as possible. Uh, we'll get into any of the other fun stuff uh, later if we do any giveaways or uh, sellaways or any of that stuff. I haven't really figured it out. I wanted to see how the video performed before we started giving out huge portions of the, uh, the stash that we have back here. Considering it's really difficult to get a hold of this stuff still. Unless, of course, you were watching ATR yesterday. For the best buy drop when everybody on the planet got something except me oh well i guess i'll survive uh let's toss that over there um let's go ahead and jump into getting all of this out i expect there to be a lot in here uh i guess we'll we'll see what happens i know we're gonna have to get feet put on it and i think i forgot the screwdriver so ah, i'm gonna have to be off camera for a minute Hey, Jesse. Is that Jesse McFly? And Jackson Paul says, hey, it looks like we've got, uh, we've almost got uh, about enough people for a game of pickup basketball. <laughs> I laugh anyway. Yeah, well, that's, that tends to be how it goes. Um, as much as I would love to see a ton of people, it doesn't, uh, doesn't always work like that. But you know what? I'm still here doing stuff anyway because it's still fun. All right, we got some feet. We've got some styrofoam. Ooh, styrofoam is holding in. Um, I can't really get a great angle of this, but let's take a look. Styrofoam's holding in all the glass, uh, and there are two glass panels on this. Real quick. Hold up. Can you sit up here and be a good camera? How about that? Ooh, and we have our riser cable hidden in the center there. Let's use some of this big desk behind us to put some stuff down. Oh, wow. Uh, surprisingly, there's a lot less in this case than I had originally thought. Um, but man, I can definitely tell where all the weight is. side over here, we have the metal cylinders that hold the glass on. Uh, you can see up here, the cylinders don't hold the glass on because we never used them, but uh, they are some heavy, heavy duty, if that thump made any uh, indication, they are some heavy duty pieces of metal. Let's... back down here. Oh, can we catch the back of your head on there? You already did. Ooh, You're flying good. that camera around. <laughs> ah, it's all right. Oh yeah, for, man, two glass panels. I guess we do need eight of these things. Listen to the thud. These are not cheap pieces of aluminum. That is a very much thermal 
take quality items. Alright, let's take this thing out and take a look at it. This is around. Um, whenever you're looking at it, it's going to like, you're going to have the glass panels here. You're going to have the metal rods coming out here. And this is how it's going to look like to the world. Now, you can wall mount this just like the other ones that we have. And you can also, I assume the parts are inside, but you can also, as it turns out, and the reason I got it, lay it down like this so that you can have a area to do bench building. The upside to this case is on this side, everything's going to be cooling. You're going to put your reservoir here, you're going to put your radiator here, and then over on this side is where you're going to put your motherboard processor and video card. That way, it's really easy to swap things in and out. And since it'll be on a riser, uh, it should be that much easier on top of it. Now, tonight we're going to do an all air-cooled build. Reason why? Well, as much as I like Thermaltake, they don't actually have the parts to me yet. In fact, the parts that I need to do the swap out from that one to this one have been on back order for about two and a half months uh, at the very least. That's about how long I've been checking. Good news is I was able to order them yesterday. Um, they gave me a heads up that stuff had come in. Uh, the guys over at Thermal Take are usually pretty good to deal with. So uh, if you ever have any questions, feel free to look up uh, Steve and Mike. They're, they're good guys. Uh, they do a stream uh, a couple times a week, so they're, they're good people to check out. Now, back to this. Um, since we're not putting a radiator on today, and we're not putting on the uh, reservoir today, it kind of leads us to have kind of an easy time tonight. We're, we're mostly going to be focused over on this side. Um, what we are looking to do on this side, though, is while I do have a cylindrical reservoir for here, I may or may not use it. Um, I've actually reached out to a friend of mine that's got a Glowforge, and we may actually design our own uh, custom-made uh, water distro plate. So hopefully we can get something that's all the way up and maybe curves over onto here, like what we're doing with the one up there, just to get something cool going. Uh, if we do it right, we can get some LEDs in there and make it look really, really cool. But uh, for now, let's take this thing apart and see what we have to deal with on the inside. So lastly, it says liking the Triforce in the back. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm a gigantic fan of Zelda. Uh, in fact, I don't know if the camera can catch it, but I will, I will show it off just because I am happy about this. Uh, if you look inside my wedding ring, let's see if we can get it to find it. Um, ah, there we go. It does say, it's too dangerous to go alone, take this. Uh, which, if anybody knows, comes from the original uh, Zelda right there at the beginning when you get your very first wooden sword from the old man. So, big, big Zelda fan. All right. Take the door off, and we've got some magnetic dust covers, which are... Uh, ah, here's the other one. So, wait a minute, they only gave me one. Uh, we've got two of these, and i, I got to say, they've come a long way. I don't know if you guys have uh, done a lot of building out there, but it used to be that you came with those little dust covers that you pulled out of the bottom and were real pain in the butt to deal with. The fact that they went magnetic, A, it took far too long for them to actually get to that point, but I'm really glad they finally did. It's, it's those little things that really make uh, building computers easy nowadays. Not to mention maintaining computers easy nowadays. Inside here, we have space for two uh, spindle drives. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, do you want to switch uh, the transition over? Mm. Yeah, well, uh, this is going to date myself because there's a, there's a bunch of you out there that are still relatively young and have never really seen beige PCs, let alone beige servers. But... Um, Turns out they, they used to not be powder coated black or white or you know whatever color you can get now. They used to all be universally beige and plasticky. 
uh, and crap. And you know, if you buy a Dell desktop, they're still, for the most part, all of those things except beige. Um, they just they still haven't made that transition to making good cases yet, in my opinion. Especially uh, like Alienware's. It bothers me that you can spend that much effort uh, and money on building a desktop and designing a cool case, and then you don't powder coat the back of it. You still leave it that solid stainless color. Like, what does it cost? It's, what, two cents, I think, uh, it has been determined? Two cents to make that look like the rest of the case. Come on, guys. Um, um, and then he says, first case of mine had IDE, was a paint to clean them, and it was a foam, not a mesh. Ooh, wow, that's that's hard times there. And they're also saying that our transition sound is a bit loud for headset users versus sound sound, so I don't know how to change that because I'm new. <laughs> I will tweak that. Um, I will not tweak that now, but I will tweak that later, and we'll try to limit the uh, transitions, but we can certainly uh, address that going forward. Alex says Zelda is easily the best game franchise to date. That's hard to fight. Um, I, I could have fought that one up until recently, but as it turns out, Breath of the Wild was kind of, well, breathtaking. It was absolutely amazing. They're also saying you're coming in low again. I'm coming in low again. That is very much fixable. Okay, well, there you go. Uh, hopefully this is louder. Uh, in fact, let me, uh, let's see. Sound issues are... How about that? That's, uh, I'm looking at the sound slider over there and I'm right there near the red, so I should be a lot louder out there. Um, anyway, let's get to the build. Let's get to some of the fun stuff. Um, and I think at this point, I've got to go and find that screwdriver. The problem is, all of the stuff that we did in the last build where we had all the tools out, it's kind of scattered all over because since that period, we've kind of had some major construction going on at the house. We've got like entire rooms uh, with no walls at this point. So let me go see if I can rustle up that uh, screwdriver and I'll be back in hopefully about 30 seconds. Ha! Ah, it was quicker than expected. She put it on the table for me. So we've got our screwdriver, but more importantly, since we're dealing with a 5900, we also have our Magic Micro Center drive. If you guys were watching in the last build stream, we had a whole lot of problems doing the BIOS flash to the board using two other drives. The Magic Micro Center drive was the one that actually got it to work for us. So hopefully that holds true with the Strix. So let's move this guy over here and we will switch up to there yeah don't forget i'm trying to transition a lot i know that's why i switched over to okay all right so with that said uh what we got we're missing some screws i wonder if they've stuffed them in the feet because they're nowhere else in here Okay, we've got four screws in this guy. I'm actually really worried at the moment. We've got four screws in this guy. We've got no mounting screws, uh, unless they're in this box back here that I plum forgot about. Oh, damn. Uh, we have a lot of stuff in here. A lot, a lot. Oh boy, we're going to have some fun. Let's see what we've got here. Um, wow, I haven't built one of these. I've built a couple of the uh, P3s and a P5. But trying to figure out where all of this stuff is right off the top. 
got thumb screws. Ah, oh, that's a power supply model. Those, I know. Those look the same on all of them. Those are glass mounts. This is... I have no idea what these are. Anybody out there built a uh, P90 before? We're kind of learning our way through this together. We've got... Uh, mods here. Mods here. Really, if mods here, why are you having to do the dirty work of the dongle thief? Because eventually you're going to give me a producer credit. Eventually. Apparently I have to work for it before I get my credit. Well, you know, think of this as interning. That's what this is. This is an internship. Oh. Unpaid. Unpaid. Unpaid and, and uncredited and internship. Wow. Yep. We're doing this the right way. Wow. We're, we're going to prove that you really want to be here before we give you any of that stuff. But if you're lucky, we'll hire you on later. Come on, sis. Does that mean I get paid? If I'm unpaid, you're unpaid. Mod, you should be glad you weren't fired for uh, embezzling... Uh, dongles. So, you know, we're, we're lenient. We're lenient here at Digital Logic. We do not fire everybody for every last little stolen dongle. I refuse to be paid in dongles. <laughs> I well, will, I will accept other forms. You know, payment. that works out because, I, as I recall, I got that dongle back. So it's not even like you got to keep it. It's it's <laughs> so. happily. Sitting right really back really there. get paid in dongle borrowing. That's correct. Dongle borrowing is as far as you get. Oh, man. All right. We've got some riser mounts here. Now, I want to say this guy is going to land us right about here. So that we know. And then... Top of that, we've got some power supply mounts. So I'm going to get started with screwing this in, and I apologize in advance. This is a lot of the boring stuff, unfortunately. Oh, and I don't think we're going to go. Yeah, no, we are going with this one because we have the RGB. Not that anyone would expect anything different out of me, but we do have the uh, RGB power supply from Thermaltake. And this is the nice one. This is the one that integrates with all of their software that uh, we can make it do all the fun stuff. Uh, it integrates with Razer, um, all that stuff. And the best part about it is it uses a standard connector instead of a little two-pronged connector a la mod stuff. Alexa, shut up. No one's talking to you. Alexa's always so mouthy. Mom says two wire, three pin connector. Well, you got an extra wire out of it. Man. I love these little bags. Uh, Thermaltake does them. Um, I know Gigabyte does it on some of them. And uh, who else did one recently? Oh, uh, Asus did one as well. It's kind of nice to have everything in there. I like to put uh, all the screws and what have you in there when we're done. But, uh, let's see, where's the screwdriver? My beer is warm and I am sad. Ah! Whoa! There's a screenshot for you. Let's start, I guess, with putting the feet on so that it's a little easier to move around and a little quieter. That's interesting. Uh, don't know if you guys can see it up there. There's three sets of screw holes on the bottom for the feet. So apparently they've uh, put this down here so that you can actually put the feet on different directions. I'm not entirely sure why, but you know. I don't like forget the bottom left corner. Don't forget the bottom left corner they can't see. Yes, because you have an inlay. So when you hold it up, you centered it in the screen and you couldn't see the bottom left. Oh. Cool. I mean, we knew it was there, but... Okay, so this is interesting. Let me look at the box on this guy. 
Zachy boy says hi. Hi, Zach. Interesting. All right, so, man, this is definitely a lot different than the uh, P3 and the uh, P5. The feet, you'd expect them to go on like that, but everything goes angled, which is just kind of the point of the case, but it's still a little uh, strange. I'm going to turn the fan on. Hopefully it doesn't mess with the uh, audio, but man, it is hot in here. No, uh, cars kept going by, so I left the window closed. And unfortunately, whenever we put on the air conditioning in here, that really messes with the audio in here. Also, it's November. And yet, yeah, 70 degrees. Mom says those are some big feet. Well, you know, what they say about cases with big feet. They also are going to have big video cards. What was that? So stop making noise for a minute so I can watch this fan. It's pretty loud. Is it? Well, I will do nothing about that. The window might be better. Well, well, how about you guys? You guys are out there listening. Is the fan too loud? If it is, I will switch to the window. Otherwise, I will keep moving along. Oh, Move there's a small ones too. Um, the audio was last I checked was still pretty big. Broski says the fan isn't too bad, but the audio seems low. Well, at the moment, I'm not next to the microphone. Um, it should actually, I'm looking at it right now on uh, Streamlabs, and I'm showing the audio at just under hitting red. So, oh, you're just barely crossing into the, he said, yeah, it's the distance. Get this thing in. It's good thing is they can't hear me very much. Well, that is true. Nobody wants to hear you. That is not family friendly approved. I am not on camera. Thank God for that. I noticed. Uh, <laughs> Ma said he'd rather listen to me. <laughs> I would hope so. She's a woman. Nobody wants to listen to my ass. I'm here just because I happen to step in front of the camera. Says you are mean. First he says you're just mean, and Mom says I don't harass him about a dongle. Well, you know what? I think that means that she's got some work to do because everybody should harass you about dongle. That was trying times for me. I did not get to play any games because that was unusable without my dongle. Speak up when you're further away from the mic. Speak up when I'm further away from the mic. I said, give me back my damn dongle, you damn dirty bastard. You were dongleless for like less than 24 hours. I was dongleless for less than 24 hours, and the best part is, even though I've got it back, I actually haven't played a game because I've either been streaming or doing other stuff for the channel that has kept me from getting in the games. But with that said, I am anxiously awaiting playing a game on this because it'll give me better frame rates than that by like maybe one or two. I, I can't imagine that that's actually going to be a thing. A 3080 versus a 3080 and a 9700K versus a 5900, I can't imagine that it's going to be too noticeable of a difference. But who knows? I might be surprised. What are we at uh, viewer wise right now? 13. Ooh, 13. That's. Number 13. How about that? 13 of you are going to waste a lot of time with me. Way to sell yourself. <laughs> well, I'm not saying that it's a bad waste of time. I'm just saying. 
And I know some of them, well, at least one or two, are watching from work. So, you know, happy to provide some entertainment while you're at work doing whatever it is that you do. There we go. It's now on feet. It, I don't know. If we just get like some green ears, we have like a baby Yoda thing going on. He's got his little sideways feet. All right. This guy's going to go right here. So let's put this one and let's find the screws to do so. See, you guys were complaining right until I started dropping things. Then all of a sudden you wish it was quieter. Just watch. It doesn't go very nice when you drop stuff. Really? Okay, way to deafen everyone. Well, that seemed like a personal challenge. Let's get some screws in. Where did my screwdriver go? Oh, and what beer are you drinking today? I am drinking Burley Oak Coffee and Cream Ale. Okay, Burley Oak. That is going to be one of our uh, Eastern Shore of Maryland breweries. If anybody out there likes beer, uh, and I'm sure somebody out there does, I certainly my favorite coffee. It's Rise Up Coffee. Oh, that's and true. They did do a collab with Rise Up. Another Eastern Shore of Maryland thing. Broski says he's drinking whiskey. I already drank some Fireball, which is like early whiskey, I guess. Some eggnog, because tis the season. Uh, yeah. Tis the season. That is fact. <laughs> says Fireball is not whiskey. I would agree with you, because I don't like whiskey. Uh, Fireball is technically whiskey. It's cinnamon. It's cinnamon whiskey, which, for the record, if anybody gets a chance to go up to um, Twin Valley or Tr uh, Twin Valley Distillery, I don't think they're closed. They they shut down. They didn't. They were at that farmers market the other day. That was the same one. Yeah. So if anybody gets a chance to go up to Twin Valley Distillery up in uh, the Gaithersburg area, I can't express to you how much I recommend not doing that. <laughs> we have a bottle of cinnamon whiskey from there from, oh man, what is it, four or five years ago? It's, that it's, we have managed to not finish or even get through like a quarter of because nobody can stand to no, drink it. We passed it off to my parents. I gave it to my dad as a gift. It's whiskey with a cinnamon stick in it and it's bad whiskey with a cinnamon stick. Bad whiskey is an understatement. It is a horrific whiskey. So now my dad makes people take shots of it when they go to his house. Yeah, he, and he sells it to him too. He's like, oh, this is this is great. You got to try this stuff. And then you drink it and you're like, dear God, what's happened? Broski says, Fireball is fermented Red Hots. You're not wrong. But there's nothing wrong with Red Hots. Red Hots are good stuff. Do you like Fireball? You never drink Fireball when I bring out the um, I don't, I don't dislike Fireball. It's just not my go-to for things to drink. I'm a basic bitch, so it's my go-to. <laughs> Technically, it's a pre a Prius is a car. <laughs> Jackson Paul says it's technically whiskey. Of course, he said technically a Prius is a car. Do you watch the Grand Tour, sir? <laughs> uh, I I believe that would be Prius, uh, according to Jeremy Clarkson. Uh. That's, that is a god amongst men there. I don't know if any of you guys out there are car guys on top of being computer guys. Um, I used to be a very big car guy, and then I decided cars bore me for, all, for uh, most of the reasons out there. Oh, average tech reviews is in. Ooh, we finally got the infamous to Madre. What is up, Mark, sir? Um, Jackson Paul says, do you have a favorite whiskey? Um, is Jack Daniels considered whiskey? Isn't it uh, like a sour mash whiskey? It's not considered whiskey whiskey? Because I am a pretty decent fan of Jack Daniels. Jack That's Daniels tastes like dirt. <laughs> well, it goes great with Coke. 
He says Jack is not whiskey. <laughs> See, that's that's why I qualified it. That's why I qualified. Now I do like uh, a decent bit of rum. You're a bourbon guy. Aren't you a bourbon guy? For um, I, I drank some bourbon in my time, but honestly, I'm a big fan of, uh, well, I like tequila, I like rum. We've got uh, a couple of uh, bottles of 8 and 10 year old uh, Bacardi that sit up in the cabinet. Really good for Renfest. We definitely finished the 8. Okay, so <laughs> we've got 10 year old Bacardi up in the cabinet. So, you know, you gotta, gotta keep stuff. Um, if anybody has ever had, uh, was it uh, Jack Daniel's Winter Jack? That, that is some fun stuff. And the reason I say that isn't because I'm a big fan of drinking alone. But when you go to Renfest and you're filling up your flasks and you need something that's going to work really well with uh, bee stings, which are honey mead and cider, I'm telling you, the Winter Jack is fantastic to add to it. You won't even notice. Says, what did I miss? He's here. Um, you have missed a whole lot of nothing. We're we're literally building a uh, P90 thermal take, an all thermal take build. Uh, everybody knows, and go ahead, mod. I can hear it coming now. I'm a thermal take show. Um, you're not wrong. I don't get paid. I just happen to like their stuff a whole lot. Um, and the guys that uh, do the whole thermal take uh, USA stuff. Steve and Mike are really nice people to deal with, so I kind of, I don't know, I like dealing with companies that I can interact with. When's the last time you guys really got to interact with uh, Asus or uh, anybody? When's the last time Lee and Lee, you know, reached out and uh, did fun stuff? I haven't seen a whole lot of that going on. So I like the fact that they have a personal touch to it, that they actually do streams. They actually do water cooling streams for that matter, which, you know, is right up in my wheelhouse. Um, minus the itty bitty raise or the uh, itty bitty radiator problem that we ran into on the last one. Mod says EVGA does it well. EVGA does customer service well, period. Like, bar none, you're not going to get better customer service than what EVGA provides. I, I don't think it can be done. And if it can, it shouldn't because I don't want better than that. What people should do, though, as much as I love Razer, because Razer does LEDs, man, I really wish people would stop buying Razer as a whole until they fix their customer service. It is that bad. Um, I, I can't express enough how bad Razer's customer support is. And I haven't even been on the receiving end of it uh, nearly as much as a few others. But while their laptops are nice, I don't think you can judge um, a company by they make a good product if you don't get a lemon. Because I think that holds true with just about anything. And when it comes to Razer, the vast majority of the time, that's how you have to say it. It's like, oh, this laptop was great. In fact, I had two laptops that were fantastic. But the overwhelming majority of what you see online is that my laptop broke and uh, Razer wouldn't fix it, stuff like that. They've got horrible customer service, and I don't think that they should be rewarded for it. Jolie says, TT 10-year PSU, still going strong. Really? Um, I have a, it's not in this build, uh, but it's, oddly enough, uh, right behind the, and just out of curiosity, oh, you guys can't see it. Out of curiosity, does anybody know what that is? Uh, you guys picked up on the, the Triforce, but I'm curious if you know what going all the way, all the, way to the side is. But... Uh, what I was getting to is there's a machine mounted on the wall just behind that on the other side, and that one has a thermal take power supply uh, that's probably going on uh, pretty close to seven or eight years now. Move your mic back down. Move my mic back down. And then Mod says, if you don't get a lemon, but a lot of lemons, and I'm pretty sure they just sub out development of the laptops. Not sure if it's a Clevo? Uh, it's not a Clevo. Um, Razer, surprisingly, actually does all of the stuff on their own for the laptops, which is really strange. I was pretty sure uh, several years ago that they had bought a design off of Apple, because if you look at their 14 inches, uh, their 14 inches look so, so very similar to the uh, original MacBooks that look like that. 
so very little was done, I'm positive that they managed to approach Apple and say, can we buy your old design now that you're not using it? That's what I think. There's no proof on that. There never will be. But uh, something about that is just, it, they, they look entirely too similar. All right, we've got a uh, riser mount here. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen thermal takes. Um, I've got several. And their risers, uh, where's the... That's how you open it. Um, the riser cables mount onto their little riser mounts here so that they sit like that. And they're completely adjustable up and down. Uh, they're good stuff. And you can also, if you want to do a really long one, uh, up there I have a 300 mil, so you can get a pretty decent amount of expansion from wherever you're trying to get your port on the motherboard expanded to. Unless you kill it with a speaker. Unless you kill it with a speaker. Turns out uh, Razer's Namo Pros are in fact capable of killing a riser cable and making you spend an entire weekend troubleshooting to figure out why. Turns out that's the thing too. Um, so with that, let's get on to motherboard standoffs. Let's put them in. So did anybody pick up on what the, that display up there was? No. No. Wow. And I thought we had some people in here with some real Nintendo cred. I am disappointed. Really? Nobody? That's depressing, guys. I didn't know what it was. Well, to be fair, the first time you ever played Nintendo was like a Nintendo Wii. And you only played Wii Sports. It's not wrong. I wasn't a gamer until I met you. Well, turns out you could be. I made it bigger, better, stronger, and faster. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is, I think we need to do a, a small giveaway. And I think the small giveaway needs to be the first person that can tell us what that is up there. But this isn't really a tough question, so we need to do a relatively small giveaway for this. Um, says, as soon as you say it, I will know. <laughs> you know what? Uh, I got a feeling anybody that's done their Nintendoing uh, will know exactly what that is the second I say what it is. You just gave a big hint. Well, yeah, Nintendo is a big hint. But there's also an awful lot of Nintendo games. I wouldn't exactly say it's Animal Crossing. He is Valerian says you have any 5600 X for sale. 5600Xs, no. Um, I have not managed to get my hands on any of the 5600s. All I've got is the 5900Xs back here. As much as I would like to have a 5600 because I would like to play around with it and do some benchmarking on that as well. Just haven't had a chance to get them. Um, there's still the outside chance. Uh, Ma, did... Uh, uh, Joe Lee says Metroid. Oh, we have a winner. That is, uh, in fact, Samus's symbol. Just before Jackson, Paul said. Andrea Schaefer says, I have now put in an RTX 3070 Oris in my computer. 3070, okay. Uh, I don't know if you guys caught last night, but, um, oh, who was that? Andy. A guy named Andy actually won the... Uh, 3070 sell off last night. So you'll notice that the uh, stack back here is getting a touch smaller. We sent one um, that was purchased to help out uh, your mother, and uh, that should be getting down there in the next day or two. And then another one uh, was the one that we did the sell off with yesterday, and a guy named Andy in New Jersey was the winner. Yes, but today is Veterans Day, so 
they are currently sitting and waiting to go out. But they will go out. They are boxed. Both parties have their shipping. It's a real thing. They're going out. Broski says, IDK, if I've ever seen that in Metroid, but I only played the original a hundred years ago. You did it yourself again. <laughs> um, wow. I, it, honestly, Metroid, uh, Super Metroid is actually one of my favorite games. Oh, and Metroid Prime is really good, too. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that they come out with uh, the new one. So I'm pretty sure this board has got nine screw holes. But, uh, I want to make sure because sometimes the middle one. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. All right, so that one's underneath. That's, you have a uh, screw hole here. However. Can't see the bottom corner. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, uh, with this camera. No, this camera. What? Yeah. All right, this screw hole here, if you flip over, is actually underneath this. So we'll have to take this off if we want to mount that. So, good to know. We have an idea as to what we need. Mon says, yeah, there are M.2 drives on the bottom on some of them. Yep. That's how it is on my uh, other board. I assume you meant that NVMe. NVMe, non-volatile memory express. <coughs> need to figure out something for whoever picked out the... Uh, Joe. Joe. We need to pick something out and send to Joe. I don't know what it'll be. Maybe we'll send him uh, a bottle of balls. I don't know why, but there's just something kind of fun about that. Too many jokes to be made about my balls and Joe. Lots of zoom zoom hard drive. Zoom zoom hard drive. Well, hard drive, uh, we actually got a decent one. Um, I'll be honest, I forgot the hard drive up until about 30 minutes before we went live. Um, well, I didn't forget about it, per se. I just neglected to clear one of my spares off that had video on it, so we had to run out and grab a new one. And I figured since we were doing that, uh, I did get the Sabrent uh, TLC really, really fast drive that... Uh, Two Madres got up in the uh, tech deals. The $300 uh, copper brown labeled one. But this go around, we actually got the uh, Western Digital Black, which I've been wanting to play with because this has got some pretty decent read write speeds. So I'm anxious. I'm anxious Bruce, to play with that. Ooh, Bruce, says, didn't realize balls was still made. Might have to hunt some of that down along with some surge. Ball. Uh, surge. Oh, wow, where is it? Surge, I think you can get at Burger King. Uh, really? Yeah, I think it's still around. I think Burger King is the only place on the planet that has it. But balls, you can get at every micro center. You can also get G Fuel there, as I know uh, is a big favorite of Two Madres. But uh, I'm a big fan of the balls. Definitely, definitely a big fan of the balls. Go ahead, let the jokes flow. If you guys don't, I'm going to be disappointed. No. Uh, and then Brosky says, yeah, I think they have it in the fancy pop machines. Pop, the pop is soda. Pop? Um, <laughs> I wonder if they will let me bring a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> and then Alex or Mod says, um, Xbox tweeted this out recently. We can't believe we have to say this, but please do not blow vape smoke into your Xbox Series X or 10. Are they saying 10 or X? Like, a, a series X, I believe, is what it is. Um, you're going to have to explain that one. Um, I don't... <laughs> Yay, Xbox. Um, Why are people blowing vape smoke in there? And more importantly, what is the vape smoke doing? Um, Alex says, the fact that Micro Center carries high chews is so clutch. High chews are delicious. 
Um, H4X Max says, you say you like balls, eh? I do like balls. I like balls. In fact, I don't just like balls. I like putting balls in my mouth. Switching it all around my mouth. I love putting balls there. And Bruce, he says, it's pop. It is not pop. It is not pop. <laughs> You're wrong. Sit there in your wrongness and be wrong, sir. Uh, then Jackson says, yeah, there are some random places you can get surged now. And then Maude says, there is a viral video floating around of an Xbox smoking, in quotes, like it was on fire. <laughs> well, let's be honest. Vape smoke isn't the only way they catch fire. Um, it's electronic. It's bound to happen. I'm surprised there aren't any balls on the wall. Ha, ha, ha. Um, no. Uh, however, my son has a ton of bottles. Not balls, mind you, but um, he has... They have balls in them. <laughs> they do. They, uh, they do have balls. Uh, have you guys ever seen the little uh, Japanese marble drink, Ramune or Ramune, or... I'm not sure quite how to pronounce that, to be perfectly honest. Marble drinks. Yes, the, the quote-unquote marble drink. He has a bookshelf, and we go out, and every time we go to uh, the Korean market, we pick up at least one, if not two, six-packs of this marble drink, and he is taken to putting the empty bottles as victory trophies on his bookshelf. Oh, he counted them last weekend. He had 40. He has 40. And most, I'd say half of them have made it into the trash can. Half of them? Why are they getting put in the trash? Because he leaves them in random places and I throw them away. But if he drinks them in his room, he puts them on the bookshelf. <laughs> so, so there you go. Uh, and at this point, I'm just putting the feet on the back of this so that when we sit down to do the bench build style uh, placement, that it will not be resting on the thumb screws and scratching the living crap out of uh, whatever we happen to put there. Yeah. What's wrong? I have a question for you, but I don't want to ask it out loud. Oh, you can always send it via a text. It'll hit my watch. Oh, wait, I have an iPad. <laughs> She's cute, guys. That's that's all I can say. Um, I wouldn't go beyond that. But she is cute. You. She's a cute one. All right. I'm trying to think. How do I want to try to mount this motherboard? Because if I put her on its back, it's going to be sitting lopsided because that's how it works. Um, I think we're just going to try and upgrade mounting of a motherboard. What could possibly go wrong? Bruce, he says we're intellectually matched. <laughs> intellectually matched. <laughs> he called you dumb because you called me dumb. Yeah. Well, you know, I'll take it. I'm, I'm not going to fight it. I will say, though, she is the cuter one. I, I, will, I will put that forth. It is a fact. She is the cuter one. And the younger one. And the younger one. I, I will give her that too. She is in fact younger. And taller. Yeah. You've oh. got all sorts of things going for you. I'm great. You, wow. I was wrong about the standoff locations. Oh yeah. Long shot. Didn't even think about that. Oh well. Easy, easy fix. It's not nearly as bad as, say, forgetting to attach the radiator <laughs> to a water cool build. Risky says, does she like balls? Da, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, inquiring minds want to know, dear, do you in fact like balls? Um, I guess the orange prime. Well, they have root beer, though, too, don't they? I, said, I personally like root beer flavored balls. Root beer flavored balls are the best. The ginger ale kind of good, too. The ginger ale balls are good. You could put ginger ale balls in whiskey. Um, Isn't ginger ale a whiskey, I think? Oh, Stroop waffles are also definitely great from... Um, another micro... Man, we yeah, buy an awful lot of... Yeah, Bob said that, Stroop waffles. 
Yeah. Yeah. We uh, we got screw bubbles that first time we were out there. I'd never heard of one, but it looked so interesting. It was a little waffle, it was caramel, and I was like, oh, this is a great idea. Who came up with this? They're Dutch. So I believe the answer is the Dutch. Or at least that's what my Dutch cousins tell me. <laughs> well, what a weird uh, stroop waffle. I wonder where that comes from. You're supposed to put it on top of your tea to warm it up. Yeah, apparently it gets all melty. No, I didn't. Let's check your text messages. What does she want to tell me that she's not willing to tell you guys? Uh, let's see. Don't read it. Because I like your balls. <laughs> um, no. Sorry. No. That's no. the answer. Okay. Um, we will do some benchmarks on this. I think tonight just based on the amount of time that we're going to put into this. Um, we're going to do the slow air-cooled build tonight. Uh, we will do some benchmarking uh, probably this weekend on a live stream. And then we will then water cool it, assuming everything arrives on time next weekend. And then we'll do some benchmarking with water cooling to see if we get any differences. And then once the uh, video card water blocks become available we will do those as well but that said I think those are still who knows the delivery time or the, the ship time of uh, the EK blocks right now your friends at thermal take well thermal take thus far hasn't even hinted they, they did mention in a stream recently that uh, they were going to do water blocks for a 30 series card. They did not, however, give any indication as to when they were going to put out images, renders, anything like that of a 30 series card or 30 series card block. So we're we're kind of up in the air on that one. I wish I had a better answer. Um, if they tell me, I'll tell you. But uh, they they didn't tell me. And while I'm still a nothing hundred something sub uh, streamer they're not going to tell me what's that sound going off wow as ESPN sound on my iPad because one of us has to like sports yeah well I like sports, thank you. Yeah. Esports. Yes, that's the best kind. You know what you don't get? But you don't even watch esports. I'm the one that watches Overwatch League. Uh, I've watched quite a bit of Overwatch League, thank you. Not this season. Uh, this season has been a touch on the boring side. I'll, I'll give you that. This season has been the best. Goats is dead. That's true. Goats is, in fact, dead. And uh, I couldn't be happier about that, because GOATS was a very boring way to play. That's a good question for everybody. Uh, what games do you guys play, especially, in particular, eSports? What eSports do you guys play? And don't say League of Legends. I'm tired of that damn game. Yeah, we need a new multiplayer game, because Apex is boring now. I don't like the new map. Um, Broski says, the temptation to build a custom loop with a 3080 FE and a micro ATX form factor is strong. Okay. Uh, well, Broski, where do you live, sir? Um, Greg Saber says, that case looks like a pain in the to build. Not going to lie. Um, it's not the easiest, but truth be told, it's not about how hard it is to build. It's about what it's going to look like when it's done. And once it's water cooled, it's going to look really, really, really good. Um, Alex says play Valorant. Bro no, 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 no. I don't like it. Broski says you know that you know this is Bamber, Chicago. <laughs> Did you not know? Ah, uh, I. He's been on here before. Um, I just don't pay that much attention to what his username is on here, but uh, yes, I, I do know where 
Vampir lives. No, he didn't know who you were. I know who Vampir is. I just do didn't know, know who he was on YouTube. But that said, yes, I, I do know where he lives. And no, because you live out in Illinois, um, I can't build your uh, machine for you on stream unless you ship that crap to me. Uh, in which case, sure, why not? He said, pay your taxes. Uh, no. And Dingle says, that M-O-B-O is so lit, planning on the same one. Uh, I believe he is referring to motherboard. Oh. Which I didn't really see as a. I thought you were actually talking about a MOBA for a second there. M O B O. Yes, that would be MOBO motherboard. I'm Your pronunciation was off. I thought you were talking about League of Legends. I'm, I'm some Fireball and some Coffee Cream Ale. Although this is not high ABV. Uh, no, it's like 4%. That's because you're a lightweight. Five point one, thank you. Ooh, five point one. Alrighty. Which motherboard are you using? Um. Well, the simple answer to that question is, oh, I'm using I could a. Watch the stream and see. <laughs> yeah. Um. Why? Where the hell is the screw thing for this? Where the hell is it? Oh, that's okay. Dingle and me says Asus ROG Strix X570. Yes, that is precisely correct. Trim says, hey. Why can't I get this thing to go back? <laughs> Where the hell are the freaking screw mounts? Good timing, he broke it. I didn't break it. It's just that the screw mounts aren't precisely where I thought they were. <laughs> that's where it was. Did I just put this back one backwards? It looks like mine. No, it doesn't. Just kidding. It looks like mine. Mine's at least like a Strix. Mine isn't. It's dark in my corner. Man, I completely... <laughs> I should have been paying more attention to this and less to y'all. Mom, where are you to help? <laughs> I can't, I can't <laughs> help. <laughs> what the hell is this box so I can figure out how to put the motherboard thing back on? Oh, okay. There we go. Because it goes on sideways. That's the issue. It's fancy. Yeah. And I'm a dumbass. I didn't say it. <laughs> you know what? I freely admit often enough that I am a dumbass. But I'm a fun dumbass. You're not allowed to disagree with that. You married me. As of 504, your firm will take USA sales order. I just see that at the bottom of your email. There you go. More <laughs> thermal take corporate shilling. Um, the water cooling stuff has finally shipped. So with that said, um, it looks like we're on target for water cooling this beast next weekend. Uh, and I'm going to guess that this is a... Mod says, butthead dumbass. I agree with those words. Um, Jackson Paul says, I am having to take some time off from Warzone while a finger injury is healing. I know. Oof. A also, finger injury? Also play a bit of Counter-Strike here and there. Um, I never really got into Counter-Strike. I did want to try a little bit of uh, Warzone. I haven't had a whole lot of uh, success in getting my normal teammates to join me in that. You have an app. It's downloaded on your computer. In a video game. Alexa, please do <laughs> not refer her to the FBI. She means video games. Can I be a girl? <laughs> Alexa's not sure if you can be a girl. No, it's fine. Um, All right, you guys play that. That's her big thing in games. She wants people to know that they were killed by a girl. So they have to have a girl character. Does Warzone have a girl option? Cut the tip of his finger off. How did you do that? Oh, did he cut the tip of his finger off trying to stop a drones fan like I did? Oh gosh. Um, and Yatu says watching is making me excited to start my build. Well, Yatu, last I checked, you are local. You should come up here and build it here. That would be a lot of fun. Our house 
house is under construction, but you're more than welcome. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, we have areas that are available for building, uh, just not all of them. He said, not a bad idea. Uh, you'd look to do water cooling, or, man, I cannot get this screw out. Did Nightbot go and try to kick somebody else out again? Stop spanning symbols. Warning. Weird. Sorry, that's, I'm not Nightbot. You can tell Nightbot to piss off. Oh, is it feedback? Is it whoops? Man, I cannot get this stupid screw out. You're really proving that you should let people build. It's... See? The screw. It's in there. I need a pair of pliers to do that. I shall return. Entertain the masses! I'm entertaining the masses. I'm entertaining the masses. Huh? Yeah. First he said get some pliers. I think that's what he's headed to do. If you haven't noticed, he's not the most organized when it comes to gathering materials. I don't even know if you can hear me. weird off-camera voice that just comes in. Oh, he's back. Ugh. First thing I found was a set of channel locks, but it got the job done. to say that I am actually really bad at that. Um, I, I'm a much more of a fly by the seat of your pants kind of guy. And I'm kind of like that with everything. She likes to plan stuff. She's like, oh, what are we doing this weekend? I'm like, whatever we end up doing. Uh, oh, Jackson says, ha ha, no, I work in a deli. Had a bit of an incident with a very large, very sharp knife. Gave oh. my finger a bit of a haircut. Lost about a third of the tip. He'll be back in no time, though. Yes, pay no attention to the voice behind the camera. That, uh, I was actually a little worried there. I thought you were going to say you had to run in with a slicer. Um, that, that could have sucked, but, uh. Oh, he, while you were gone, I said, I'm like the voice behind the camera. But they said, pay no attention to the voice behind the camera. I'm like the Wizard of Oz. You're the mayor of oh, 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 oh. There you go. Your sister will watch this now. Your sister will watch this now. Man, that... Uh, oh, that was perfect. Thank you, Jackson. Thank you. Yeah, that... Uh, you guys... You guys don't know the uh, the background on that, but uh, my sister-in-law is a freaking oh, Amazon. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's so weird. Yeah, sorry, recently married. The, the terms are still weird for us. Yeah. But my sister-in-law is a freaking Amazon. She's huge. She's six foot tall. She's huge. I'm not overly short, but I'm not tall either. Uh, I rock in at a big, what, seven, five, seven and a half? Five, eight on a good day if I'm wearing uh, some shoes that give me a little more. Uh, but as a result, she has always made fun of me for being short. And I have always called her Gigantor. And uh, we went to a place that sold uh, like oils and vinegars and stuff like that. And they asked, do you want to have one of those uh, shopping cards with us thing where you get the bonus, bonus points and stuff? And I said, yeah, and I went ahead and I got it. But uh, while I was off getting oil, she changed my last name on my bonus card thingy to Mayor of Munchkinland. So... That, that's a little bit of a background story on why she's so tickled pink over there that you guys just gave her ammo to call me short. So thanks for that. It's Jackson's fault. Um, Jackson, you screwed me. Casey Soto is here and says, what I miss? Oh, look, one side is almost done. Well, 
as it turns out, it's almost done because um, we're not doing the other side today. The other side's water cooling and the parts for that aren't here. We do have a rather craptacular, eh, it's probably okay, but it is a very basic air cooler for the CPU. I don't know if you guys have seen this yet, but it does meet the requirements of being thermal take. Being no, thermal take. I can't see that part of the camera. You're holding it in the bottom corner. No, I'm not. I'm about to tell. Look, at the, Look at the top. The big screen's got the big thing there. Oh, you can see the thermal take, but you can't see the bottom of the box. Throw a box at you. Spells of abuse. Anyway, um, this, it's, it's not a particularly overly great CPU cooler. Um, looks like we've got an aluminum base as opposed to a copper, but the simple thing is it will get the job done. It will let us boot up and uh, it'll get us to the point of next week where we've got the water cooling, which would be far, far much more better. So once we get to that, we will be able to really do some cooling on this thing. And in this room, you need it. This room is so freaking hot. Uh, my PC has only been on for like as long as the stream's been on. I turned it on just before the stream. And only because I wanted more colors because, you know, RGB. RGB. All right, so let's find that box. Um, oh, that's interesting. This is a wonky little cooler here. Oh, they give you crappy thermal paste. Well, I don't know that it's crappy. It's probably the same uh, TG2 or TG4 that I've got sitting over there in a tube. But they give you a little foil thing of thermal paste. So this is not your standard mounting system. Oh, wow. This is a steaming pile of crap. <laughs> Sorry, thermal take. in the hell that hand me that box back actually gonna have to read the instructions on this one because wow. well it doesn't uh mount the way one would expect. Oh, gotcha. Uh, it's because they've got this thing on here. I bet you that's the issue. I bet you because they pre-mounted this thing, which is a Kento. I'm betting that right there just goes on the top. So we're good there. All right, let's pop back over here. We're going a little bit out of order on things, but you know what? It happens. There you go, AMD Ryzen 5900X. My second AMD build in 21 years. Because up until we did Bobo's over the weekend, I hadn't done an AMD build since an AMD K7700. That is probably the thing that dates me the most that I was old enough to build a computer back then. What is the point of all this box? Casey Soto says, unicorn CPU. That's not a unicorn. Unicorns are hard to find. They're, you know, you find one every so often. And as it turns out, I've got a whole second one, like right here. It's not really a unicorn. Greg Saber says, CIV Benchmarker Riot. Inch park or riot. Um, ah, we can probably do a benchmark, but we'll have to get Windows on here first. So yeah, we, we can do that. I was planning on benchmarking this weekend, so it's not going to be that long 
until you get a, uh, a benchmark for it. But, let's see. All right, so how much thermal paste do we want to put on it? I know everybody's got their own style of how much thermal paste they like to use. I would like to find my thermal paste that I thought I had lying around that might be lying around. I might be using that crappy little packet of thermal paste after all, because I can't find mine. So lastly says, a dabble do ya. A dabble do ya. Well, that isn't very uh, fun. Is this a scientific measure of a dab? Ah, there's my thermal paste. Um, uh, Brosky says, remove the CPU and fill the socket with thermal paste. There you go. See, now that's, that's how you want to do it. I, I like when people get inventive. Um, I don't know that that, th now hold on, remove the, do you want me to put the CPU in after? Because I've definitely seen a, a couple of pictures of that. But, all right, let's ask this. Jackson says, don't forget to saturate those pins. Got to saturate the pins. You got to keep it cool. Um, all right, so do we want to put a dot in the center, as it were? Do we want to do the X? Do we want to do the K? Or do we want to do the five dots across it? Let's let's see what the uh, the chat has to say. I used to have a Windows uh, Windows Mobile Swiss Army knife that I got back in my Circuit City days, way back in the. You are dating yourself left and right tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I used to work at Circuit City. I was the best salesman they had, um, and that that's a verifiable fact if you can find anything Circuit City uh, document related. To lastly, says X marks the spot. Broski, get two more tubes of paste and apply. Greg says, everybody gangster until you squeeze liquid metal and let gravity do the rest. Uh, Jackson says, I do the thin X with dots between each line. Gotcha. I think I'm going to go with the five dots method myself for one reason. I'm going to have to clean this crap off when I do the uh, conductor uh, when we water cool it. And I would really like to not have to get gobs and gobs and gobs of this crap off when I clean it. So, we're going to do the five dot method. I didn't know there was a pre-approved thermal paste method. Uh, well, it's kind of a, everybody has their, well, don't drip. Maybe that's a live stream we should do. Drunk Sarah builds a PC. Um, I'm 100% game <laughs> for that. That sounds like an absolute blast of a time. Just with parts you don't really like <laughs> or need. There we go. It's messy because it's vertical, and I don't care because I just don't want that crap dripping all the way down. Um, and with that said, I have crap on me. But, for some reason, uh, I guess we have stuff left over from yeah, California Tortilla. tortilla last night. Yeah. It was just placement, because it knew I was going to need it tonight. Brisky says, needs more paste. <laughs> I doubt that. All right, so. All right, where's the CPU pin? CPU pin's up here. All right, let's pull that off. I hate that. This is a cheap, cheap cooler. Thermaltech, do better, even with your cheap crap. Although, truth be told, price-wise, this thing is spot on. For a temporary until the better cooling gets here, this cooler was like 20 whole bucks. Man, that uh, 
they smushed out nice. And it didn't gob all over the edges. I don't think you guys... Okay, let me uh, switch you around. Greg says it looks like a 65 watt TP, TDP cooler. See, we don't have... Is that what W stands for? What? Yes, yeah, 65, 65 watt, yeah. Chrissy says, the bigger the gob, the better the job. I like it. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, interestingly, they shape these fins so that RAM can fit in there. I'm not sure how well that's going to work, but we'll test it out. We've got some Thermal Take Tough RAM. Uh, this is CL... Says no spare rape prisms laying about. No. Why? <laughs> that was a, no. <laughs> Clear and concise. Why would I have those lying around? I water cool everything. This is the first air cooler I've bought in. Wow. Uh, how long have I been working Circuit City? <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, mine's not air cooled. <laughs> Yeah, but say yours is an air cooled either. Yours isn't as water cooled as I usually make them. Yours is at least an all in one. Although, uh, truth be told, I was wow, that's huge. I think we had a air cooled one somewhere. Was Zoe's air cooled? Uh, I, th I think Zoe's might have actually been air cooled. I think Zoe's is air cooled. Um, we actually did get that twenty four dollar uh, all in one that Timadre put up on the. Uh, tech deals because while I may not ever use it, who turns down a $24 all-in-one? Um, Dragon says, from other builds, when you water cool and don't use it, I have an AIO and I still have the cooler mine came with in case I ever need it. Don't give him any ideas. He keeps everything. I don't need that in my house. Yeah, you guys haven't seen my cables. Uh, Mob has seen my cables. Oh, I have a lot of cables. Um, I have enough cables that if I have a cable oh, need and I don't have the cable, we can make cables out of the other cables. Mod said he literally has everything. You're not wrong. Um, and Broski says, what do you think of the cryo cooler Linus recently reviewed? Oh, the cryo cooler. That looks interesting, but 200 watts to run that thing, that's a lot of wattage to pull just for a cooler. Um, now they did get some decent cooling out of it, but as I recall, um, the standard cooling and the cryo cooler had mixed results in that the cryo cooler worked better, but at non-overclocked uh, rates, I think, than the standard cooler. So it's it seems to be hit or miss, but it, it's an interesting concept. I'd like to see if they can improve upon that better. But I'd also like to see them do it with a standard, non-cherry-picked CPU. Um, so check out the Tough RAM. I don't know if you guys have uh, managed to take a look at Thermal Take's logo before, other than you know when I just had it up. Um, oh, this one doesn't have it. Uh, there we go. Thermal Take's logo are those two T's right there, and they've actually managed to put those two T's in the sticker RAM, which is actually kind of cool. Um, and they've also got some other RAM that I've seen where the, the clear white up here actually matches the metal. So they've got some nifty stuff. I'll, I'll give it that. Let's see. Can we fit this in? Because this is a big honking stick of RAM. Greg says, how high profile do you want to go? Thermal take. Yeah. Uh, said, I did it years ago with air. Oh, a Peltier? Peltier, can't. Oh, you know who I was thinking of. Um, <laughs> but it was also very janky. <laughs> um, Peltiers are, well, I, I know the cryo cooler uses a Peltier, but Peltiers are incredibly, incredibly inefficient when it comes to cooling anything inside of a computer. Um, not just Linus, but a number of outlets have attempted to do a Peltier and make it work well, and it just, it really, really doesn't. Um, they take up far too much uh, wattage to try to cool, and while it does manage to draw the heat away, it draws the heat away, but it doesn't really do a whole lot with it. 
Um, plus, you can also end up with issues with uh, condensation. So, you know, there's something that I've considered there. Although the one that they did recently with the cryo cooler, they did have that condensation trout, which was kind of a nice bonus. Um, all right, we are making relatively quick progress. Let's see, what else do we need to... Hardware-wise, we got a video card, we've got the motherboard, we've got the processor, we've got the hard drive in sitting right there. Um, need to hook up some cables. All right, it's almost cable time. Um, we'll, we'll leave this for just a, a few more minutes. I can't wait to get it in though because I've been wanting to play with that since I got it and I got that weeks ago, but it doesn't fit in that guy because, well, uh, let's take this camera. I don't know if you guys have seen it before, but look at this. Do you see how close sir, that video card comes to that pump and that tube? You have to talk louder, you're too far away. Sorry, do you see how close that pump, uh, right there, that pump comes to that video card and that tube? You've literally got no distance whatsoever to work with. And that is Lots of I've seen it. <laughs> shut up you no one's talking to you i'm talking to all the other yous out there um that one it's it's so much smaller than a strix it's so much smaller than a 3090 fe there are so many cards that will not fit up there although a tough 3080 and a tough 3090 both fit fine i'll trade you <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> About that. My card will fit. Your card will fit. Your card will fit in a nice little ITX box that we're not going to do either. Well, unless we do that ITX box for Vampire if he sends it down here. Sad and tiny. It's not sad and tiny. See? All right. Let's ask you guys. Would you rather have a 2080 Ti, which is bigger, or a 3070? Yeah, but I'm referring, I'm actually going power to power. 2080 Ti and a 3070 are actually really close, but the 2080 Ti is about the same size as your 1080 Ti. Um, Jackson says, how do you like having a wall-mounted system? It looks so great, but does it just collect dust like a maniac? No, it does not collect dust at all. That's the main reason we got them off the floor was to get the dog hair, keep the dog hair out of them. Yeah, well, that and... Realistically, there's so much space that a PC takes up on the floor or on the desk. Once you put it up on the wall, you kind of forget it's there. Um, the only issue is with this one, the water cooling, you've got to do maintenance, and that requires taking it down, and taking it down is a two-person job. Um, Sarah's, on the other hand, where it's an all-in-one, once it's up there, you just kind of forget about it. Um, everyone says 3070, Casey says 37 FE because it looks really nice. But it's tiny and it doesn't have any LEDs. <laughs> and that's what I just had to go through recently. But we put it in there. We took down a 1080 Ti Strix and we put in a 3070. And my beloved wife here is the only person on the planet that's going to complain about that because the card itself is actually small. I have tiny video card syndrome, okay? Yes, you have tiny video card syndrome. Uh, I will agree with that. Mom said, ask him about taking it down. <laughs> the case. Uh, taking it down is a two-person job. It's a pain in the ass. It's heavy because it's water cold. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I said Bobo found that out last week um, when we did his. And he was not expecting to have that case that was nice and light when he put it on the table turn into something that ended up as heavy as it was when he took it off that table. Water cooling is an incredibly heavy thing. So if you're going to water cool and you're going to wall mount, I would suggest maybe, just maybe, that you screw it into studs and don't use uh, anchors for drywall. Put it over a desk that you can stand on. Because when we couldn't stand on our desk, it was horrible. So I lied. We're going to take the video card out for one reason. I need to get the standoff or the... Uh, riser mount mounted in the right set of holes and I need to know which way it has to be mounted. Well, that's 8.3 pounds per gallon. That is that's a gallon of milk. 
Alrighty, so let's take a look at this heavy beast. You know what, while we're at it, let's take a look at what else is in here. Oh, um, you've got the instructions and cards and crap, but they give you this. Um, I'll be honest, I don't know any of the crap that's on here. I don't know if you guys can see and identify at all any of that. Let me get the light right. Anybody know what those markings are? I do at least know these are coordinates. If we can get the lighting on that just right. Here, let me. First, get the ding dongle measuring stick. You've got your coordinates there. Where are those coordinates? Somebody find out where these coordinates are. I will leave this yeah, somewhere in just a second. Hold on. I will. Can you guys see those coordinates up there? There you go. Somebody get me where those coordinates are. I'd love to know. Can you advertise what in my chat? For the setup. Oh, yes, absolutely. Um, I guess we didn't really cover that. Um, yes, we do stuff like this too, but the whole idea of what we actually do is um, we want to sit there and do a setup channel. And the premise behind it being everybody's seen uh, Kyle and Jay and everybody rate your setups. But what do they really do? They go, oh, this is good. You can fix this. But my premise is, why not turn that into something a bit more fun, like a game show? And the best way to do that is if you guys send in your setups and let me put them on the show. Oh shoot, it's the wrong email address because you put it in stupid. Sorry, it's not setups at Digital Under TV, <laughs> it's submissions at Digital Under TV. I'll create an alias for it so they terrible. both go to the same place. <laughs> I'll make it so they both go to the same place. But if you uh, email these in, I'm going to do a five-person per episode competition, and we're going to put up three prizes every single week. All this is covered in the rules episode, but three prizes are oftentimes going to be things like nano leaf panels, which Jumadre has uh, on sale on the tech channel right now, so I might grab another set just so I have them to give away as a prize for 50 bucks less than they should cost. Um, we're going to do cash at around $200. We're going to do gaming statues. If you guys look back here, I have a brand new inbox tracer statue uh, that I have had for the better part of two years because two years ago I had this idea and we didn't really run with it then. And it literally sat in a closet in the box for two years. So we've got gaming statues. We've got computer hardware. We've got cash. We've got all sorts of stuff that the winner's going to get a chance to pick from. So if you guys have setups, send them in to where she just put on the uh, screen. The second email, not the first one, because... If you're gonna do the, the second, if you're gonna do the first email, give me like three hours before you send it in. <laughs> I'll, I'll make that one work too. Otherwise, use the second one because, you know, that one's real. Um, Broski says it brings you to ASUS headquarters. It brings you to ASUS headquarters. Uh, in Taiwan. In Taiwan. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, Taiwanese street food does sound lovely. Taipei, specifically. Alex sent you the exact address. Ooh, fun. All right, let's... Wow, addresses stay. are long in Taiwan. All right, so we're going to get an opinion real quick. Do we want the card right on the edge so that that's the look? Or do we want to take this card further in? I can't imagine that we're going to be putting anything else here on the PCI. What do you guys think looks better? Pull it back out again. I wasn't looking. There's back. There's on the edge. Mod uh, says edge lord. I'm kind of like an edge myself. I concur. Casey also says edge. All right, so I think that means. Also, 
so my bear is gone. Your beer is gone? My beer is gone. Oh. And my eggnog is gone. Now all I have left is Gatorade. All right, so with that said, we do have an idea as to how we're going to mount this. Um, I have another question for you guys. Um, have any of you guys paid any attention to the back of any of the Asus video cards, the Strix or the Tough? Because I gotta say, I'm I'm of mixed feelings about it. And the reason I'm of mixed feelings about it is they did something really cool only for me to find out that they didn't. Uh, and I'll show you that as soon as I put this other screw in. Check this out though. I saw, the first time I opened up one of the Tufts, I saw the back of the card. And the back of the card looks really kind of cool. But do you see how it's got the inconsistency in color? It looks like kind of a almost a, a splattery paint job. The problem with that is it, it doesn't. It's actually a plastic coating. And when you pull it up, all of it goes away. So that oh, shit. cool little effect, it, it's all black. And I was really disappointed at that. I thought that that color effect. That, you know, uh, different color of uh, gray versus black there looked really cool. I was really disappointed when I found out that it wasn't glossy and that it uh, it was just kind of flat black. Mom said so leave the plastic on because it will. Uh, <laughs> no. Um, Tulasi actually has a question for you. He's, they said, uh, what brand PSU cable extensions have you found the best for aesthetic and build quality? Oh, uh, well... Let's start with a slightly different question, uh, or maybe a different answer, rather. Everybody uses Cable Mod, and there's a reason for that. Cable Mod is a fantastic maker of cables. However, come on. Cable Mod cables, well, they're thick. They take up an awful lot of space. Mod just said that. Cable Mod cables are thick AF. <laughs> yeah, he's not wrong. Um, uh, I Alex usually says, have. Could be worse, could be EVGA's cloud lips on this gen. Oh, uh, that's true. You're not wrong. Now, I will say, uh, I actually am a big fan of Asus power supplies, despite the fact that we're using a TT this time. And I haven't checked to see what type of cables that they've given us. But let's take a quick look. Oh no, you're on a TT. Yeah, this is just the standard fare for cables, nothing special. Um, the reason I bring up Asus is I actually have a Asus power supply here as well, but the one I'm going to pull uh, from real quick is actually going to be my desktop that's on the wall. Asus gives you, from the factory, braided cables that match the color of your power supply. So in the case of my white one up there, you get a really nice set of white braided cables and they work well with most cable comb uh, that you can get. Uh, aftermarket. I've got a whole bunch of uh, cable mod cable combs that I use, um, but we've also got a black Asus, and they come with the black braided cables, and they just they look so nice. And to get them from the factory instead of having to spend, oh, come on mod, would you pay uh, for your cable mod cables? And when I say that, there was a set that you could buy that's like sixty or seventy bucks or something like that. But you also were talking about single cables that were costing almost as much as the entire set. I think. Uh, go ahead and put in chat what you saw there. They're, they're already chatting. Oh. Because they both have the same case. Oh boy, what case was it? Uh, oh, well, love. Oh, yeah. That thing. Yeah. Mod said he has cable mod replacement cables, and the back of his O11 is basically all cable mod. And there is no airflow in the back of that case as a result. And Tulasi says I'm planning to build an O11 as well, so it's good to hear. And Mod said $100 with That is correct. Um, extensions are literally just, you use your standard uh, cables into the PSU and then you extend them from there into the board. So in the case of this guy, because of how it works and one of the reasons why I did mine up there this way, um, I usually do something fun and stylish here. Um, 
if you look at this guy, I thought it would be kind of fun. Let's see if that's on the camera right. Oh no, it's catching the glass. Uh, try this again, sorry. Right there. My braided cables are braided as they go into the case. That's weird. So I have double braided cables. Why? Because, why not? Um, I could have just cable combed them and made it real uh, straight. So I've got the combs for it, but I don't know. They're braided cables. Why not braid them? I think mine looks better. Uh, uh, you know what? Yours does look better, but yours are also white and black, and I think that helps. There doesn't need to be airflow in the back of the O11. Well, there doesn't need to be back or airflow in the back of any of that. But the reality is your, the back of your case is so crammed. If I didn't cable manage that thing to hell, it would have been a real challenge to get stuff in. What are you looking for? Me? Yeah, you. A beer. A beer? What type of beer would you like? Any kind. Any kind. Oh, that's good and not gross sour. All right, we're going to leave this to the chat. I like this idea. I finished your <coughs> I'm going to bring a selection of beers in here, and you guys are going to pick the beer that she drinks next. And maybe the beer that I drink next. The last thing says, yeah, my biggest fear is putting the incompatible cables into the PSU and frying everything. You won't fry everything. But he said you won't fry everything, everything but I blah, 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 blah. Get the... <laughs> We have a lot of beers to choose from, so he it's going to take a little bit. 90% of our refrigerator at the moment is beer, not food. So that tells you anything about us. Also, you all better pick a good one. I brought a very, very small selection. Broski says, Malort, as the Lord intended. A very, very small selection of what we've got. But back to your uh, cables. You don't have to worry about frying it, but if you don't get the correct cables for your power supply, especially if you've got like Corsair or EVGA, it won't power up. The cables are different between the manufacturers and uh, how they do their pinouts. So make sure you get the right ones. <coughs> but. Um. I like ales and wheat beers and fruited, but not sours. All right. Jacket. So here we go. I got a lovely assortment for you guys to choose from for Sarah for her next beer. I know which one you want, but you don't get to pick which one you want. Oh, good. They can't see the one that's bad because those have gone off. <laughs> All right, guys. Which? Oh, let me get the camera. Can't see the bottom. Uh, there we go. Pick Sarah's next beer. Uh, Broski says passion fruit mango. We got one vote for passion fruit mango. Don't pick the hard tiki, because it's definitely bad. <laughs> pick the tiki. No, like as in it was, oh. H4X says hollow cream. Oh, oh dream. dream. You can't see the yeah. That would um, be a dream. Juice rules everything around me. It's a Burley Oak thing out in uh, Berlin, Maryland, Ocean City, Maryland. <laughs> Ma very, very votes, good beer. He votes that you get the pineapple coke. That's not happening. Um, that one will be taken off the table for me. You said this one actually went bad? Yeah, I had that last time. It was all for too long. Um, Jackson said, oh, those oh. are all over. Ha ha. Oh, there's been an arms race between a lot of brewers who can make the hobbyist IPA. Ugh, I um, hate IPAs. 
I am a very anti-hops guy. I do not particularly like it. I like sour, sour, sour beer. Dragon says peach lemonade. That would be good for you. Uh, peach lemonade. Okay. Um, okay. That, for the record, if you guys haven't had that, that's like drinking a lemon drop. Vodka and all. Um, so, what do we have for Sarah? What are the votes? We've got to at least get one... One for each. One for each. We've got to have a tiebreaker. Well, no. The bottom one is out. The We haven't had a cherry cobbler vote. We haven't had a blueberry. Oh, and now... <laughs> no cherry cobbler? Mod says blueberry. <laughs> cool. Cherry cobbler is out. That's uh, great, because I like those. I'd like to save it. we got another vote for passion fruit. Everyone's saying passion fruit. Sarah gets the passion fruit. So, Sarah, your passion fruit. Now for me, what am I getting screwed into? You took the cherry cobbler off the table. Yeah, because no one voted for it. That's the one I really wanted. What do I have to drink next? Because I'm... <laughs> Swift says those look good. I have one of each. Yeah, you're not wrong there either. You're really not wrong about that. They're all good. Uh, this one's sour. This one's sourish. This one tastes like a lemon <laughs> drop. And this is the one that I just drank. So Everyone is saying you get the pineapple coconut. Uh, says, that's not Alan up here. Mod says. <laughs> it's because I said it was bad. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not happening. Try again, I don't sir. I remember the last time I had this one. Uh, me either. Broski says, pineapple or sober. <laughs> pineapple or sober. <laughs> you can open it and try it. You know what? I'm a team player. I will see if the beer has gone bad. If it hasn't, I will suck it up. I could be a big fat liar. We're going to find out. Oh, damn. <laughs> you may not be wrong. <laughs> That's a bit whiffy. Says, beer does not go bad. All oh, these are fruited beers, so they oh, definitely go hell no. bad. <laughs> hell no. That's nasty. Fruited beer, it turns out, goes bad. And we had a refrigerator problem while we were on vacation. So some of them definitely went since they uh, felt like screwing me. I thought I'd give them a couple extra choices. All right, we've got Funk Sway. We have Black Current Fruit Tart. And we also have a Nightmare Dream. I want the cherry cobbler right back up. Nope, your own passion fruit. All right, guys, pick it. As soon as you pick it, I'll start drinking and I'll go back to building. <laughs> Who says I'm glad I helped that push that punishment? <laughs> Casey says the alcohol content just goes up, lol. Oh, no, it, it, it uh, Yachty tasted says, I came bad. back to some drinks. Yeah, you came back to some drinks. It's beer time. Well, Mom says beer doesn't go bad. It's the fruit and the beer and Sam's uh, commitment to a bit. Yeah, uh, I, I did try it. It was nasty. That was, that was bad. Um, um, if you guys do come here for uh, any of the bills that we do, um, I... I have beer all over the place. I have uh, a kegerator. I have beer in the fridge, and I have or don't. In fact, uh, I did tell them that ninety percent of our fridge was beer. And I'll well, not just that, but uh, the guys that make this Burley Oak, they're doing a release in two weeks. In two weeks, I think it is, and you can pre-order stuff next week. And we're probably going to go <laughs> pre-order like forty or fifty cans from them. And drive two hours to and from to pick it up. So we'll have plenty of beer if you guys want to come um, over and build stuff. Jackson says nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Everyone else says pineapple. There's not um, a pineapple up here, is there? Broski says I'm 13 and what is this offer for beer? <laughs> well, Broski, you're not 13 and I happen to know that you like beer, so shut up and pay your taxes. Um, I think nightmare. Nightmare? Wow, you guys are going to be easy on me. That's like marsh. What is this? It's, uh... It's good. 
it's boysenberry, blackberry, blueberry, marshmallow. marshmallow. It, it's ridiculously, ridiculously good. I actually told Broski uh, about this one when we got it in, and he wanted some. I... Oh, speaking of which, uh, Vampire, I told you we'd pick you up some um, when we go back out. If you want to grab some, I'll ship it out to you, man. Broski says, I want all of them. Uh, I have I, no idea. Do I have a problem? All right, so Nightmare Dream. Whoever picked that, good job. <laughs> it's actually one of my favorites. You didn't screw me like you guys did the last time with that coconut crap. Amber said, let me know the cost of shipping. Obviously nothing that will go rotten. <laughs> oh, shit. Need some dry ice in there. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm totally up. willing to dry ice it for you. Um, but that said, yes, their fruit stuff has to be kept cold, so we will have to put uh, dry ice in there to keep it good for you. But I we're, the we're willing to do it. It's worth it for the burly oak. Everyone just needs to come to Ocean City and hang out with us. Yeah, seriously, come to Ocean City, hang out with us in the condo that your mother's going to buy. You know, the condo we're going to buy when I, my multi million dollars. Does anyone have $30 million I can? I'm working on it. Uh, uh, how many subscribers are we up to right now? I don't know. We're up to 13 viewers again. 13 viewers. All right. So when we go from 13 viewers to like 100,000 viewers like uh, Mr. Beast, then I'll have your $30 million for you. Scott <clears throat> 2 says you're in Ocean City. Um, we're not in Ocean we're City not in Ocean yet. City. We are looking to maybe move there in the next few years, though. Um, Broski says my next trip east will be Ocean City, New Jersey, but I might stop by. Might make a trip to D.C. That's very close to us. Uh, yes, you you can't really go to D.C. without going by us um, on the Maryland side. We are literally just outside of D.C. Oh. Swift says YouTube is having lots of issues. I linked your stream, but lots of people can't get in. Oh no! Oh, where are you linking to us at? Uh, what's the problem? Let's get them in here. I like people. I want to give something away. I want to see subscribers. And I will give stuff away if we can get some subscribers in here. So get them in here. Um, well, I had a friend moving to Salisbury. I know the Eastern Shore well. That's where I grew up. Um, Yatu says he's on the stream on his phone but can't load it on his desktop. Uh, oh, oh, no. my, oh, YouTube is down on the East Coast and West Coast. What? West Coast. YouTube went down while I was streaming. Those dirty bastards. I bet you they steal dongles, too. Oh, they... Weird, you have a storm. Yeah, I guess we did just have a hurricane come up the coast. It's been raining here all day. Really? That's why it was raining all day? Yeah, we're on, like, hurricane 18 million of the year, so... You know, I was going to make a political joke, but then I thought, you know what? You're not supposed to make political jokes on YouTube. You shouldn't do that. No. We're, we're making our way through the Greek alphabet of hurricanes. All right, so what does everybody think of the placement of this card? Yeah, back to the build. Well, I never stopped doing the build. I just needed something to refuel with, because like Bender the robot, I run on alcohol. Well, if I can take you back to the day we got married. Um, oh, the day was great. The night however. The night wound up with her sitting in a chair with me literally holding her head up like that. She was completely and totally drunk out of her skull. Um, I think that Sarah would be fantastic. Fantastic to build a computer. Blackout Sarah would not be good to build a computer. Uh, Broski says it looks saggy, but it could be the car card angle. Jackson says, how much does that card weigh? Uh, and yes, we had our one month anniversary yesterday, Broski. It is not saggy, sir. It did look saggy. It is 100% straight as an arrow, not saggy. Uh, as for the weight of the card, um, you know what? 
I'll take it back off, and as it turns out, I mean, I could get a scale, but that's not nearly as fun. If you guys will excuse me for like another, I don't know, like 15 seconds. John 2 said YouTube tweeted that there is a current issue on YouTube. That sucks, but I'm glad you all were able to join. Okay, so Sarah is big into the exercise. We have some weights. And I am going to take a stab. Um, are we close to Fairfax? We're about an hour. Uh, we're about 35, 40 minutes from Fairfax. Uh, we're not that far. 45 minutes, yeah. We're like in equal dis equidistance on the other side of All right, so. Casey. Well, it's definitely, definitely more than the two pounds. Um, it's more than the five pound. It's not quite as much as the eight pound. So what I'm thinking is, uh, if I had to guess, I'd say it's about seven pounds based on the fact that you got a five and a two here. I'd say it's pretty close to seven pounds. It's not a light card, not even remotely. But since we've got that mounted, we'll put the card back here for a minute. Uh, we've got that. We're going to pop this out so that we can do some actual cabling of stuff because there are some important things that we have to do here. Uh, SATA, we don't need that. SATA, we don't need that. Don't need that. We do have a thermistor. We'll put that somewhere important. Um, but most of the stuff is on the case itself. So let's see what we've got here. We have a front USB. We have, man, I hate these. HD audio and a USB 3. I've really come to like that one single F panel cable as opposed to the little separate guys. It's a much simpler thing to deal with. I don't know why they didn't uh, do that much sooner on machines. All right, so let's put this guy down here for now. Let's grab our USB 3, which is an easy one. So what's this crap about YouTube uh, screwing up my stream? Well, you're up to 14, but the YouTube, Twitter said something. I don't know. So what I'm hearing is we would be at like 50,000 people viewing right now it's YouTube if people. YouTube didn't break. Freaking YouTube. Is this mod or vamps uh, method of trying to uh, screw with me? Which one of you went and sabotaged YouTube? HD audio. Which one of you guys is HD audio? USB, USB, HD audio is... Uh, oh, where the hell is HD audio? Rosie says something on the case sounds like cowbell. I need more cowbell. Do you get that reference because you're not a Will Ferrell fan? Uh, I, I do not get that reference. And I am a Will Ferrell fan, thank you. I'm just an odd Will Ferrell fail, fan. I uh, I like some of his not funny movies. I liked, uh, what was the one where it was Harold Glick or whatever? You're the only one that likes that movie. I love Talladega Nights. Talladega Nights was oh. great. Ricky Bobby was freaking awesome. Where in the hell is no. the HD audio on this guy? Team YouTube said six minutes ago, if you're having trouble watching videos on YouTube right now, you're not alone. Our team is aware of the issue and working on a fix. Well, somebody tweeted them to kiss my ass and fix it faster. Jackson Paul says, a classic. Talladega Nights was so good. You didn't like Step Brothers. I don't think I've seen Step Brothers. There's so much room for activities. 
didn't get my reference yesterday. Um, Brosie says, don't worry, I posted a link at ATR that YouTube was selling 3080. <laughs> Mod also doesn't like a lot of his movies. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a huge... I, I did like uh, Night at the Roxbury. I mean, who doesn't like Night at the Roxbury? Did we just become best friends? Yes, yes we did. <laughs> that is such a good movie. But Talladega Nights is just so infinitely quotable because like Ricky Bobby, I too wake up in the morning and piss excellence. All little girl movies are quotable. Man. Uh, all right, so I'm going to have to use the book so that I can see what the pen layout is because it's very lightly printed there. Pin layout. One of these, pin layout. Um, funny thing is I'm going to have to completely redo this uh, hard drive in here when we do the water cooling because I'd like to move to a PCIe 4.0 and I don't believe the H or the uh, Western Digital is PCIe 4.0. If anybody wants to confirm that and call me a damn dirty liar, I will totally fess up. But you better be right. Okay, not that one. No. All these stupid pinouts, and I can't find the right one. Oh, there we go. Uh, Mod says SN750 is 3.0, SN850 is 4.0. Um, Best Buy did not have the 850. They had the 750, and that's what we bought because I didn't want to cancel this stream for being a dumbass and not getting the thing. That's how you get good street credit at Best Buy, though. Yeah, go ahead and explain you going in there and buying and explain how that whole process went. Explain how I went in there? Yeah, you, you walked oh, in there. I and walked in there and I was like, hey, can you open this case because I need this um, NVMe? And the guy was like, oh, which one? And I was like, oh, the Western Digital. And he goes, oh, that's a great choice. And then in the same case, they had some 1660 Supers and some 1660 TIs. I said, I really need to know, is anyone really coming in here and buying a 1660 anything? And he looked at me like I was God's gift to earth and knew what I was talking about. He said, yeah, people really do come in here and they're really screwing themselves. And it was great. That's how you get the people at Best Buy to like you. Although that might only work for women. I don't know how that works for men. Might? I, I don't think uh that is not how it works at micro center however oh <laughs> uh, that's true micro center with the exception of um our one friend on the uh job there uh who shall remain nameless because we don't want people to bug the crap out of him for information he's already nice enough and gives uh mod and i information he is fantastic however most of the people at micro center they profile just a touch, uh, especially if you are of the uh, non-penile having variety of human beings. They see you as a girl and somewhere between in all that a girl is in there and the need to tell them what they need uh, tends to happen. Sarah likes to go in and look at the gaming keyboards and mice. She likes the RGB, the colors, the pink keyboard, stuff like that. And then they tend to march her over towards the non-RGB having Logitech stuff saying, this is what you're looking for. Yeah, I walked in there looking at the gaming mice. Um, where she says anyone in sales profiles. You'd think they would profile the right direction though because I was looking at the expensive gaming mice. And yeah, for people working off commission, and, yeah. it's not a bright way to do and it. And they walked my ass over to the standard bikes, like those stupid cheap-ass Microsoft ones. And I was like, no, this is not not what I want. Thank you. Well, um, maybe yeah, it was. Yeah, says, I'd love some insight session from the Micro Center. Uh, Mod says, they call the cops on people waiting outside. And Yanti says, yesterday when I was there with other people at 4 a.m., the police or at least security came but didn't do anything. Uh, well, 
security comes by a lot. Um, Maude and I have both been uh, there for numerous drive-bys uh, of security. But uh, that said, we've never actually had the police called on us before. That That's apparently reserved just for the Xbox crowd. Us PC people, we can go there and have a hundred of us and no one starts any shit. But all it takes is one Xbox release and all of a sudden the police guy show up. Uh, Murphy says, when I worked at Best Buy, I used to direct people towards the best deals and products. When the vampire at, used to work at Best Buy? Were you working on commission, though? I've seen what this guy looks like and that's an interesting thing to picture working at Best Buy. Oh, interesting. We've met some good guys that work for Geek Squad uh, at our Best Buy. I said Cavell uh, was yeah. really great at our Best Buy. Um, but there was also another guy that worked at our Best Buy. I cannot remember his name. But um, much like when I go to Micro Center, I usually don't run into people where I'm super thrilled to talk to them. Um, something between they're trying to get commission and they think they know everything. Uh, it's somewhere in the middle of all that, but we found a guy at our Best Buy locally here in Bowie, and he's fantastic. I wish I remembered his name, but he was absolutely fantastic to talk to. He knew his stuff. Yeah, too, was at Rockville when the cops got called. So it happened at Rockville and Parkville. Well, there you go. That's what the Xbox crowd brings. They, uh, they're a rowdy bunch, those Xboxers Well, as I keep trying to tell people, um, Micro Center doesn't owe you anything. Uh, they're there to sell stuff, and if they have it, they're going to sell it. But, I mean, what do you expect? They can't produce these things. They aren't Microsoft. They're not NVIDIA. They're not AMD. They can't make stock appear. Take it up with the manufacturer. Uh, speaking of stuff appearing stock-wise, Mod, uh, did we ever get a confirmation as to whether or not a truck is coming to our favorite location tonight? <laughs> yeah, she said um, there were these kids yesterday running around the parking lot and shopping carts uh, so much that they ran in front of the shipment truck pulling in. Stupid Xbox kids. And Mod said no work. Well, uh, I'll be honest. I don't have a problem with kids running around the parking lot in uh, shopping carts. That sounds like a fun way to pass the time if you've been there for a while. Um, I know we've done a lot of football in the parking lot in the past. And uh, it's, it's good times. We're definitely, definitely going to have to get some custom cables for this because so boring looking. Oh. Maybe streamers. What do you think, uh, Mod? Put some streamers on here. Oh, and then Mod and Yasu have figured out they're in the same Discord. And Alex said, "So much for not revealing your special play source. It's not Mod. <laughs> it's definitely not Mod. Mod just happens to be the other guy that." Uh, he was just there. Yeah. He knows who I'm talking about. Although, if you want to sit there and message Mod for information on uh, Discord uh, about anything with Micro Center, please feel free. Everybody message him and try to get information. Bug the crap out of him. And while you're at it, tell him to stop stealing my dongles. Something occurs to me. We don't have to run a whole lot of power cables in this guy. We're, we're not going to need any SATA power at the moment. Um, we're not going to need any Molex at the moment. All we're going to need is PCIe, ATX, and CPU. Wow, that's not a ton of... Yeah, too says I would message Mod, but I wouldn't want to bother if everyone else is already messaging. Go for it. 
Please, Stop. please do, especially, you know what? Wait, no, I didn't say that because Mod likes me, but... Ah, uh, no, you definitely recommended it. You screwed no. Mod. All right. I don't know that this power supply came with enough cables. This seems to be the case. Bob said, join the Discord, you're already in. <laughs> Yes, join the Discord, you're already in. Absolutely. Sounds like a good time. Man, this is a very, very tall case. Um, I think I may have to end up getting cable extensions to get this guy to work. Well, now there's a lot of Discord notifications about you. Discord notifications about me? Why? Because Mod asked for you, because he's a good guy. Oh, no. Um, he said, speaking of news, we got a mixed message. What do we get? What mixed message? I feel like we need the Jeopardy music playing. The message of, do I need to sleep in my car again? Because... <sighs> that... Alright, did I really... SATA, SATA. Why do I have four cables worth of SATA power? Mod said, do you want me to say it? Uh, you have my phone. You can just text me, dude. It's totally a thing. Oh, crap. Distracted you. Thermal take, you suck. I have a feeling that I don't have enough power cables because Thermal Take uh, doesn't ship enough power oh, cables. When we sent that cable mod back. We did. We Today. did. We did. We did. Um, yeah, that might be a big ball of suck for me. We may be done with this before we actually get it booted up. Um, well, shit. What are those cables over there? They say cable mod on them. Uh, cables over where? In the cup. Next In to the headset? Cup. Next to the spare headset? Uh, those are cable combs. Oh. Cable combs. Uh. So I've got... <laughs> Jackson says, are you the guy, the same guy who was bragging about his ridiculous cable selection earlier? Um, I am, and I've probably got... I mean, realistically, I could just turn around and grab one PCIe cable and be fine. But the problem is they, uh, you know what? I can resolve this. Smart ass. Um, so there he goes. He went outside for some reason. Something must be in the car. What is in the car is the question. He's back. <coughs> ha! Mom just a bunch of links. What is this a link to? I don't know. Hopefully not porn. Or maybe, hopefully, porn. I'm not sure which way I'm supposed to root on this anymore. 3080s or at Newegg? 3080s or at Newegg. Which ones? Add to cart. Um, Add one to the cart. Let's buy it. Let's buy it live on stream. MSI? No, we don't with, want MSI. But they're, they're like packs. You can buy other shit with it. Oh, bundles? bundles. Screw you, Newegg. All right, since I was talking about this earlier, and since I'm going to have to use some of these cables now, because thermal take didn't provide uh, enough. Uh, Sam says, or Broski says, Sam, don't mix PSU cables. Broski, tough. New Vegas bundles only for the GPUs all day. Alex. Uh, let's see. We got this. We're going to use these cables. 
And the cables that we're mixing, for the record, eh, are just uh, PCIe cables. So nothing Where did you get those proprietary. Uh, I have that Asus power supply that was sitting in the car. The one I was going to use for this build before I got the uh, oh. thermal take. And decided to do an all thermal take build, which I'm really disappointed at. Jason um, says he would love to grab an MSI card. They would... Don't grab an MSI card. Yeah, two says forever waiting for 5900X restock. 5900X restock. Yeah, him and I have uh, talked a little bit on Discord. Um, it turns out that 5900X is a bit of a challenge to get a hold of. I got one. You did. You did get one. That's because you, unlike most people, went up and got in the line and waited. I got one because you said, hey, do you want to come wait in line? And I said, sure. And then five minutes before they came out, I said, what am I in line for? That <laughs> is, in fact, about how it went. It went very, very similar to that right there. Um, which is always a good trait to have in a wife. Hey, I'm going somewhere, and she's just like, let's go. And then we've got uh, Tumadre, who ended up coming up and getting a uh, 5900X as well, all thanks to uh, Mod's handiwork. So has anybody tried using double uh, or the uh, breakout cables on any of the 3080 series cards? Or are you actually running straight cable from PSU all the way up for each individual power port? I haven't tried this yet, so I don't know what the outcome is going to be for cables like this, where you've got two of them off the same copper line. Anybody? Bueller? Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, might be a delay. Did the chat break? Did YouTube break further? Sounds like their type of handiwork. Okay, I'm fine. And you gotta be kidding me. Oh, well, I say that's not true at all. I'm not black bragging that I have a 3080. I have 38Ts, multiple. And technically, I have the Zotac uh, Amp Hollow on the way here, so that's even more ease in the, uh, the pluralization. And then we've got 37Ds as well. And we had 39Ts as well. We had four of those, uh, as it turns out. We've, we've definitely had a... Uh, a small pile of them amass. They can't see that, but I can see that. What are you reaching towards the sky for? Oh, she's got to burn the calories on the watch. Wow, I think I may end up actually getting screwed because it doesn't look like the ASUS cables are going to work with this thermal take power supply. I. Oh no, you have to go to Micro Center. Um, I don't have to go to Micro Center, uh, as it turns out. I would have to do something more along the lines of, like, um, contact Thermal Take and get additional cables or order them off of uh, Cable Mod, which is probably the more likely case. Jackson <laughs> said, ha ha, mine just went off too. I'm sitting here waving my hands in the air. That's exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, you guys... Stuff. Uh, Alex says Micro Center sells cable mod extensions for mod. 
I know they sell cable mod extensions. However, they I don't like using extensions. If I'm gonna do it, I'd rather use just the cable itself from start to finish. And more importantly, I don't believe they do extensions for Thermaltake. They only do Corsair and EVGA in store, if I recall correctly. So when you turn it around, they get to see my lovely setup. Uh, one of the other things that I think about this is um, mm. we don't think we did this last time on the last stream. I don't know uh, what we ended up doing in the end to resolve it, but uh, I think somebody said that you can actually boot up the CPU without all 12 cables for the CPU. Um, anybody out there have a positive or a negative on that? Jackson says, also rip me on the west coast on a synchro micro center in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, that's true. You are pretty well screwed for micro centers. You could always drive down to Tustin, which, you know, would be a hell of a drive. That's what Mom just said. <laughs> but you would have 8 billion people there to have fun with you. And um, you would only have to check in every other hour to make sure you didn't get kicked off the list. Mom, which is way more stressful than it is for us. Really? They check that hour, that list? like Every other hour. To see if somebody's still there. Yep, and if you're not there, bye bye. Wow. Um, Mod also says that's cable replacements, extensions are universal, they just extend the standard connector. No. Are they are the extensions universal? Plug in what you can. It really only matters for overclocking with no EPS connection, I am not sure about. Here's the problem though, uh, Mom. Oh, I missed the I don't have enough cables, period, let alone extensions. So we're still screwed on that. The 444 EPS. Yeah, we've got eight of the 12 in. We've got uh, eight of our 12 CPU cables in. Um, um, Molex, uh, SATA, SATA, SATA. Um, Broski says extension should be universal, it's just male to female. Well, the problem is, it's not an extension issue I have a problem with. It's a, I don't have the cable in the first damn place problem. Thermal take, apparently when this power supply was manufactured, despite that there are 8 million ports on it, um, Mom said the power supply end is proprietary, the other end is standard. Yeah, that's correct. Wow, so, okay, so that's how I control the RGB. Learned that answer. Um, anything? Yeah, no, these are all SATA, Molex. Why do you need that many freaking SATA cables? One, two, there's like six SATA cables for this thermal take. Yeah. Here we go, we've got Molex, SATA, SATA. Molex, SATA, SATA, SATA. That's a bit extreme for something that doesn't hold any optical drives or anything else. How many hard drives do you think in your favorite? Grosky says for your massive RAID array. Uh, my RAID array is that way, completely separate. Wouldn't put one in here. It only holds like two spindle drives. Crappy RAID. Um, okay, well, I guess we're going to get to the point of finding out whether or not we can do a BIOS flash on this guy at this point without that other set of power on it. So I guess we're about to learn something. We're going to reach under here because I keep cables for everything ready to go. that are pre-routed to the system over here. 
and let's grab the video card and slot it back in. I may have to run up and get more cables if at uh, Micro Center if they have them. Where's Where's our Micro Center contact uh, mod? Can he answer that one for us? Can he tell us if they've got the cables I need? Thinking back on it, I think he said he had to work tonight. Which as far as I'm concerned means he should be able to, so send him a message and see if he's got those cables. And while you're at it, send YouTube a message and tell them to fix their shit. Busy to check the website. I can check the website for you. Micro Center. I don't know what you're looking for. Okay, so let's put the power in and let's see. Actually, while you're at it, Sarah. John Tree says he thinks YouTube is fixed. Oh, no. Yeah, YouTube is still messed up. Sarah, while you're at it, do me a favor. Take that drive. Go to, uh, just type in uh, Asus Strix X570 uh, into the WeberNet. Oh, not Micro Center? Wow, I'm screwed here too. I think I'm screwed every which way on this because I don't think, well, maybe, maybe not. I guess we'll, we'll see just how much of this works out for me on the power. Not a glowing review for you, Thermal Take, with your power supply. I am earning those producer credits that I'll never get. I will put producer in the description. Because the masses, or at least that one guy, has won. You just told me to Type Asus Strix X5700 and didn't complete your sentence. Actually, you added a number. I said X570, not 5700. Oops. This is not an AMD graphics card. Okay. Um, Just be Google. Click the probably first link that you see. And go to support. For bios. In the FAQ? No, not in oh. the FAQ. Bios. Drivers? No, bios. Oh, well. It's going to be in with the drivers, but yes. Because we're going to have to do a bios flash. Um, when was that released? 11.520? Yep, that's the one. Download it. Open that up. Yep, that one. Um, and take the, I cannot see what the. This is the exe file, and this is the .cap. Oh, that doesn't sound right at all. That doesn't sound right at all. That does not sound like the MSI procedure, um, which apparently is a thing. Did you name this thumb drive update? Uh, no, it should be named ESD USB. Oh, there it is. Um, we might have to quickly Google the manual update procedure for the oh uh 
got the update, Ma. Thanks. Oh, you were talking very close to the... <laughs> No, I hit the mute button. That's all. Oh, he hit the mute button. Microphone's got one. Let's see. Download the blah, blah, blah. Really? You've got to go through all this crap? Okay, hand me that flash drive back. Apparently, and I'm going to say, I feel a little foolish saying it this way, apparently Asus is going to be biased towards Mac, and we actually have to use a PC to do this. So, let's come over here. They were in parallel. I need my other keyboard oh, out no. too. Page can't be found. Apparently, it's down just like YouTube. Uh, let's see. 270, 475. You'd think 570 would be lower than 550, but they don't do it like that. There we go. Driver utility. BIOS firmware download. Look at me breaking the rules and using my computer for evil on the internet instead of just playing games. I'm gonna have to talk louder. I am sorry, give me one freaking minute. to drive the correct way since it's fine as I will all right back over to here sorry for the delay I was not ready for the different process of having to do this from the way MSI handles so we're gonna go ahead and put a where the hell's the 
HDMI. HDMI cable in. We're going to grab the power cable, which is right here. And we're going to see if this thing actually comes to life. Hopefully the actual process of this thing is the same as the MSI. Otherwise, I'm not going to have a damn clue as to what's going on. Put this guy in. Put this guy in the USB. Magic Micro Center USB. Don't fail us. And let's put this machine here to sleep. That way we can see what's going on. And I will grab the camera and I will move it to this side. Um, hmm. Sarah, can you kill the uh, softbox? We're going to hit the button and see what happens. No, we're definitely not muted. Can you okay. not hear me? No. Broski says he likes tro trolling your audio issues. He wants to keep doing it because you don't have a direct feedback on audio. Um, he's not wrong. Let him troll away. So. Okay, keep telling me it's muted, and I'll be like, is it muted? Well, we we definitely have an answer here. Um, <laughs> this does not work. Either a the same or b without that cable. So, um, without that cable, uh, it does not look like we're able to boot this guy. So, thanks, Thermal Tank. Well done. Um, I am disappointed. Does that mean you're at a stopping point? Well, it kind of means I'm at a stopping point. Turns out, I was prepared for this eventuality. Not on purpose. Just through stupid, dumb luck. And what that means is random power supplies that I have sitting in my car, as it turns out, are going to come into play. We're just going to swap out the power supply over to the Asus and... Lots of second PSU. Yep. Thermal tank, I told you guys to watch this stream. I don't think you will. I don't think you give a rat's ass, but you know what? Let it be known that your power supplies do not have the requisite cables to boot modern motherboards. That's kind of crap. Don't think I'm not going to bump the crap out of you on stream about that one. You guys thought I bumped the crap out of you to get a freaking uh, cooling piece. I'm going to bump the crap out of you for not having the right stuff. It does, just not in your oddball case. Uh, it's not the case. It's the motherboard. It doesn't have the stuff for the motherboard. Um, this guy. I mean, I'm sure I'll eventually switch it back to the thermal tank so that we have the requisite amount of RGB. But for now, we'll go with this black Asus and make it all stealthy looking. Put in 
one more screw. We don't need all of them in here. It's not going anywhere. And we'll do a quick run of cables. Man, this thing really does seem to rock a touch. I think it needs a third leg up here in the front. That's what she said. Well, I have one of those, but I can't use it on the camera. Of course not, you're a girl. That's how that works. But I'm being family friendly right now, so I'm not going to explain to any of the minors, since apparently Vampire thinks he's a 13 year old. Although we did have a 13 year old in uh, chat the other day. Yes, <laughs> we did. We were obnoxious, is what we were. Um, but. You know that uh, who was there? Vampir, you were there for that, right? Oh. All right, let's get this in and done. Correct. Especially in the case of our buddy Vamp. You know what would have been fun? I was talking to you about this last night, Vamp. Vampness. I still find that that guy was funny as hell that day. I think we should bring him back. You know what? I'm not even going to run this pretty. I'm just going to run it to get it moving. It's kind of crap on this angle, by the way. What was that? Your lighting is kind of crap now. Uh, on this backwards Well, angle. you can turn it back on. I just I was trying to get that light blinking thing going on like we did the last time. Uh, well, um, the phone is facing towards the softbox, which is probably not great. Well, I will fix that in just a minute. I'm trying to rush, considering I got screwed by thermal tape. Oh no, Alex said the stream went completely dead for me all of a sudden. Can't load on mobile or VPN. I think YouTube is just... YouTube, you suck! It does say we should change our bit rate. I don't know what that means. Open widget. Well, the bit rate last I checked, okay. I had it set really high to like 15,000. Mod said it's fine. Yeah, um, it says the stream is healthy. CPU, CPU, look at that, two CPU cables, thermal take. Jackson is still up for him. Yeah, I think YouTube's just being weird. YouTube is shitting the bed. So, uh, last I checked, uh, Tuchu or whatever his name was, left, correct? Yatu, yes. Yeah, that guy. Yatu. He would be really ticked off right now if we decided to put that uh, CPU up for the uh, solo way. Yeah. Because well, I don't know that with YouTube being all screwy, if we should do that tonight. You know, that is a good point. We, we do want to be fair about it since people can't get in. So if we're going to do that, we'll probably push that off until uh, this weekend just to make sure everybody's got a fair shot. But that said, I think we're still going to put a cap on that. I don't think I want to just toss that out into the wind, given how hard they are to be uh, found right now. I think it's not fair to say we should have to get some actual subscriber action out of it. Look at this, and way longer cables on top of it all. Man, thermal take, what gives? Well, you got three subscribers. I'm all about three subscribers. Three subscribers makes me happy. As long as it's going up, I am a happy, ah, happy, choked by an HDMI guy. 
because slowly but surely this will become a thing, or it won't, but either way, I'm going to try my damnedest, and I can't do that without people. And you guys are people. Well, Maud says, you not having your dog will make me happy. You guys are people except Vamper. Oh, He's not a people. Worse. Can you move the camera? Yeah, but I'm going to have to put it back when I get to that thing again. This is a crap cable job by me. Uh, Jackson says he would definitely buy one of those 3070s, but he gets the push for subs. Well, that's the thing. Um, I'm actually out of 3070s right now uh, to sell off. The last 3070 that I currently have is the giveaway, like the flat out free to you guys card that goes out at a thousand subs. Now, I do have a 3080 coming in, and um, I am trying to get my hands on another 30, uh, another 3070 to do a, uh, a sell away like we did the other night, but due to the fact that we sent uh, to Madre a card, uh, and we did a sell away last night, which for the record, man, if you guys were looking to get a 3070, and you were struggling to get this 3070, you could not have had better odds anywhere than on the stream last night because I believe the odds were one in seven. I think we were only, I think we were streaming to seven whole people. Was that right, sir, or am I just making that number up? I think that sounds right, but you took the computer at the end, so. Um, so one in seven to get that card. So subscribe and turn on notifications because give stuff away he usually puts it in the description or the title that's true i do give you guys a bit of a heads up on that sort of stuff all right so now that we've moved over to the asus power supply or sell away not just give away yeah sell away give away all that stuff uh, lands in the description and we are powered up with a non thermal take power supply so much for the all thermal take build jackson said haha 3080 works too well, you know, if you want to... Hey, I... Jackson, I have a Zotac uh, 3080 amp hollow that should be coming in in the next couple of days. And I will happily, happily put either that or the 3080 Tough that we've got up for a sell away the second that card gives or gets in. I, I probably want to do a benchmark on the amp hollow, but... I will definitely put one of those up in as a sell away probably in the next week, depending on when that uh, one rolls in. As soon as it gets in, I will put one of them up. Broski says, is that case that wobbly all the time? Um, I don't know. Um, all of the time that I've had it, yes. You've seen it. It, it, it wobbles. Yeah, putting the glass on it seems like it's on the wrong side. Like it's going to add more weight to the wrong side. Uh, well, keep in mind, there's also this that goes on the back side, and that's a, a bit of weight, not a ton. Not compared to the glass in the front. Let's uh, let's just pop that one real quick and see if that adds any substantial weight to the back. You also don't. Well, No, is it's it, is that extra big ass card on the edge of the bracket don't help that song. Uh that is a fact, as it turns out. Um now one of the things if you you know, oh, uh no, Vampire Noah has a black screen. Hi Noah. Hey, Noah's here. Yay. Um nice to see you back, man. Uh we didn't get to game the other night. We need to fix that. Uh there is a spot down here, Vampire. You didn't see it in uh everything because it was in the very beginning when we took it out. There's actually a space here for a third foot. Um, coincidentally, I have a third foot because it looks like it's the exact same foot that comes with the P3 and the P5. So I can put a third one on here and I'm trying to feel... Yes, all the third leg jokes. Uh, the third <laughs> one, uh, as it turns out, I'm going to angle this down. Broski says, I have a third leg. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but it's a short little peg leg, but... <laughs> it is wood. It is wood. Broski says, 
said they call me tripod. At the same time, Mod said call him tripod. <laughs> Good one, guys. Anyway, that third foot, um, the way the screw holes are lined up down here that I can feel, the third foot comes out this way, which would completely prevent the wobble that we seem to see. So I will probably add that to the system from one of the other systems. But I would really like at this point, let's let's take a quick look at the back again. Now that we're powered up and let's see what happens when we hit the button. Let's hit the button. not working or the process for this is different from MSI again all right uh, let me read the book again this is that's the problem with you uh, going between these uh, boards there might be different things let's see if we can so uh, 3.9 No, we want flashback. We don't want easy mode. Tuning wizard. Boring stuff. Sorry, guys. Um, advanced mode. I don't want advanced mode. I want flashback utility. Wow, they don't cover the flashback utility in the manual. You got Easy Update, you got Asus Easy Flash 3, you got Asus Crash Free BIOS 3, but you don't have the flashback utility. This is all gooey stuff. Great, so we've got to pull this information off of the web. Secure race. Has anybody done this on a uh, ASUS board yet? Wow, you can actually do that. That's kind of nifty. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to skim through this, um, and I'm being very boring on the camera as I try to skim through it, but the issue is everything in the manual for BIOS updates is covered from inside of BIOS, despite the fact that it has the little button on the back that's supposed to allow you to use the flashback utility. It's just not covered in the book, which means to knock off the new statue which means I have to look this up on the web let's see connect USB blah 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 for a motherboard yep shut down do not remove power press the button for three seconds until oh see you don't have to do that on the MSI on the MSI you just hit the button. Apparently with Asus, you have to hold the button for, let's read a little further before we go and click the button. Let's not over clicky this. Uh, okay. So here we go. One, two, three. Guys, 
is, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, I guess you can. Yeah, we've got some activity there. And according to this, wait until the light goes out, indicating that the BIOS updating process is completed. So that part is like the MSI board. So, you know. Bob said that was 3.5. What was 3.5? 3.5 seconds. Bite me. see the light right there blinking away doing its thing doing a bios update it's like watching paint dry well USB drives doing something where's my beer I'm missing out on shit <laughs> the table that fell on its own about the other camera for a minute but can't I was very concerned that the uh, 3080 had taken the brunt of that. Brisky says you'd be more concerned if the power went down in the middle of the bio update. Uh, I would be less concerned about that than the video card because the motherboard only costs a couple hundred bucks whereas the video card uh, being a Strix 3080 costs a lot more. Um, but we ended up with a bent thing here and a bent thing here. Very easily resolved. But, um, hmm. Crash. Yeah, there you go, guys. We crashed. <laughs> Not exactly the crash that I was thinking was going to happen, but uh, it crashed. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I think this is a good testament to something that uh, Vamper was saying earlier about how heavy this card is on the front of this case. Um, I think before the end of the night, I'm going to go ahead and put on the other leg on this guy just to keep that from happening again. But uh, wow, that was, that was special. Nothing like dropping a uh, 3080 Strix. That's a fun time. But you'll notice it's still blinking away. It's still doing its thing. The drop, the smash into the table, the bending of the case. The uh, Strix 3080 was luckily protected by the big honking piece of metal. Um, I'm really glad I didn't lock this in. <laughs> Bertie says, if you're watching this stream, you can have Sam build your custom PC, too. Well, you know, as long as it's not this one, it doesn't usually tip over. This is the first time I've had a computer tip over in build. Would not recommend this case. Uh, yeah, you know, thermal tape. What, what gives? You don't give me enough cables in the power supply box. And you don't build a case that without attaching a leg that is not included in this system. Ah, that's bright. Damn. Oh, um, 
I have to get a, a leg from a completely separate system, which conveniently I have, but otherwise my case will fall over due to the weight. Come on guys, thermal tape. What in the ever loving Ron said as long as you don't buy the Corsair kit, uh, Broski said Amazon review is gonna be three star. Alrighty, so we've got no more flashing, which in theory means that we have been BIOS flashed. So I will just verify there's nothing there. Yep, we're good. Pull that out. I shall reseat. That's the dangerous part. Yeah, it is. Okay, get it in the stupid slot. You know, based on the way this thing is fitting, um, I think I learned something about how the uh, Strix card slots into this guy. And what I think I learned, aside from the fact that it slots in to the point where it can fall the frick over, um, I think it wasn't actually slotted in the riser card the last time. Because if it was, if it was all the way slotted in, I don't think that the card would have slid the way it did, and I think it would have actually really damaged the card. So I think I got really, really lucky there by the fact that I missed the riser card the last time. He said, prop it up with a book or something. Make books useful again. Books that are useful. Uh, you're talking to a girl that works for the library, man. But I'm not a librarian, so. But she's not a librarian. Um. All right, so we got that in. I agree with the whole prop it up with a book thing. Where is something that is the proper give or take size? Um, Do you like my no, um, Fine. Magic mouse box. Magic mouse box. There we go. All right. Let's grab that camera back. And let's see what happens when we hit the power button now. <clears throat> Ooh, we have lights. HDMI plugged in, and I broke the fuck out of the HDMI cable, so we may have more problems. We'll, we'll see. You must speak up. I think I broke the HDMI cable. If, if the stream just came back, you definitely missed the best part. We dropped a computer. <laughs> yeah, for says you missed the action. We, it may or may not have fallen over. Yeah, see, we, we have a slight issue with uh, the HDMI port at this point in time. I think we can call that dead. So. Oh no, you have to throw away an HDMI cable. Wherever shall we get another? No, you don't seem to understand. I have to throw away an HDMI cable that is currently routed through my wall, oh, so I have shit, to reroute a cable. <laughs> Dang it. That sucks balls. <laughs> Rosie says, still good, bend it straight and call it reaper. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me crap. Um, yeah, I need to find a HDMI cable now, because none of my stuff's where I thought it was. I found 
put an HDMI cable that conveniently has an extension on it. And while it was out, I found a keyboard. So let me rerun a cable real quick. Which keyboard is that? That is the keyboard that we got for a vacation setup. Oh, I was like, that's not my old one there. Nope. This is a Sinosa. Alright, let's try... Mod also says, uh, you'll also need a mouse with a dongle. That's not family friendly. It's not. It, it truly is not. Let's see. one of these HDMI's I'm currently plugged into. I'm really kind of disappointed with uh, the RGB in this Strix here. Um, Jackson oh. is heading out, but he'll be he'll watch it later. Bye, Jackson. Um, Broski says when installing custom wiring inside walls, place a PVC pipe so fishing is easier. You're not wrong, but we put it in the already finished walls. I don't know if you guys caught that, but it said BIOS is updating. Do not reset or shut down to risk or to uh, prevent failure of boot up. No keyboard detected. You know what? That's a fixable thing. That magic mouse box is really handy. It's keeping it from uh, falling right over. Thank you, Apple. You guys don't think Apple's always looking out for you. It is not a PS2 keyboard. It is a Razer something RGB thingy. All right, so what do we got here? We've got F1 Drust Run Setup, F1. While we're at it, let's wake this guy back up so that I can move those USB files over and put Windows on. Naturally, it's on the one screen that I need. Ah, life is always fun. on the drive that's in it so let's put that in there let's take a look at this guy um do you guys want to do any overclocking this weekend on it see what it can do wrong keyboard This is not Elon Musk's Tesla. I think no. I think Elon Musk is an alien. That's my conspiracy theory. I'm starting. Where's boot priority? Am I missing this guy? 
boot configuration. Well, so he thinks he married an alien and possibly sired one. Well, come on, he named that kid Ash. And a whole bunch of other weird stuff. Watch all those live streams. I think he's legitimately an alien. But, um, Broski says, legit, I would love to see Asus overclocking. I have tried it, and personally, I think it's bad because I don't have the patience to figure it out. <laughs> Find any bootable devices. Humaning. Oh, really? He's not actually trying to be a human. So I might need to build a Windows install drive again, which, you know, happens. I used to have one, but I turned it into a flash drive because it liked it. Elon will be my husband. Elon will be your husband next. That's 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 a good way to go. To go marry somebody. Why not Elon Musk? All the Teslas and all the trips to space. And also, he probably has tentacles. So enjoy that. Well, um, there is a certain group of people out there that enjoy that sort of thing. I know. That's what I'm saying. Then you get real. Also has a Cybertruck pre-order. <laughs> you know what? I like the Cybertruck. I think the Cybertruck is a very nifty looking thing, and I love the fact that it's got a four-wheeler that fits in the back of it. And I bet you it'll hold a lot of weaponry, man. And I know there's a comment coming on that because he's a big fan of his guns. He says he doesn't think it'll hold as much as I need. A tractor trailer wouldn't hold as much as you need. But it turns out they make those too. Lots of legally taxed firearms. Yes, that is correct. Legally taxed. Vamp would have it absolutely no other way. So, um, I think, I think, I think, I think, uh, I don't know how many people we have watching. It's probably not many at this point. Eleven, but, it looks like. Um, oh, although Streamlabs says 14. You know, it's, it's funny like that. YouTube says 11. I think what I'm going to do is I am going to hop on the Digital Logic Discord if anybody wants to join me there. Um, feel free. Do you have a link? Uh, because I could find the link. Oh well, no, where's my mouse? There it is. Um, I do. You have my machine. I just said I guess I could. Just right click. Uh, no, right click the digital logic on the left. The shield. Invite people. Yeah, you are. Does that mean we're ending this one? Um. Wow, that's a 2017 picture. Just for anybody that wanted to see. Are you putting people's pictures on me? Oh, wow. Hey, one of the, there we go. You, sir, may in fact need a larger truck. Holy crap, that's a lot. Imagine how much you could get with Elon Musk money. Well, you know, Elon Musk money is big money, but... Um, Didn't he make um, a child? Flamethrower? Yes, yes the, uh, the Boring Company, one of his companies, uh, made flamethrowers, yes. Um, so here's a thought.
guess it goes like that. So he take he makes a terrible flamethrower. There are good and bad flamethrowers. I, I thought all flamethrowers were made. His flamethrower isn't so much of a flamethrower as it's kind of like a large out of control blowtorch. I was gonna say, does it more like your potato gun when you push it in people's face? What do you have on the left there? That's the transition to the end, I thought you were ending. Ah. Did I not fix the end card? Nope. Apparently not. All right, so while it does that in the background, I am going to try to get the glass on it because if we don't get this thing to tip over at least one more time tonight, there you go. Thank you. I don't even have to turn around. I know who did that. Thanks, Mod. And for any of you guys that... Uh, of course, you just gave us a good plan for the recommendation. Really? We, we, I didn't realize that... Okay. Apparently there are good flamethrower recommendations. Um, but if anybody out there is paying attention or not paying attention and just coming back, um, we've moved over to the Digital Logic Discord so that I can interact with all of the people on the thing. Uh, wait, 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 what? I'm, on, I'm in like the chat, or the voice chat. Oh, you've moved over to voice chat. You did not make that part. Uh, the glass is really hard to break. Um, it's all tempered. It's not nearly as easy to break as, say, a video card. Does that mean I no, I was just terrified. Like, you guys saw it go down, and you were like, oh, it fell down. Oh, well, you should definitely go back and rewatch about 20 minutes ago when uh, you're watching the stream right now this tipped that way and kept going to the point where the video card went sideways it was not a fun time I, I legitimately thought I broke my Strix 3080 I was pissed but that said I kept my cool on the stream and didn't flip out <laughs> even though all I wanted to do was just scream the F word a lot Yeah, it... Uh, no, the other camera definitely caught it. The other camera definitely caught it. There's, there's no doubt about that one. Uh, how far is that drive? Drive at 54%. I will move this one over to there. You guys can probably see that. Oh, that was looking at the screen. Never mind. Didn't realize what that was doing. Keep an eye on it. Let me know when the uh, drive's done. Does that mean you're done with me? Since you've moved on to talking to other people? Uh, no, because not everybody's in here. I think only like two or three people are in here. Go back and rewind. Oh no. Yeah, dude. I I didn't think that was gonna be that big of a worry because the P3 and the P5 do not tip like that. There's my butt was strange. They, they wobble everybody. a little, but they definitely don't tip like that. That sucked big. That was a big giant ball of suck is what that was. Did I? Did you put me in voice chat over there? Did I? I don't know what I did. Okay. All right, am I back? Sorry, she uh, she put me into voice chat on the uh, laptop and took away from the iPad that I'm running off of. But yeah, that was a big giant bowl of suck. Um, I. I genuinely thought the 3080, I was like, oh, damn it, of all the cards to break in a computer, I have to break the expensive one. <laughs> I mean, all the 3080s are expensive, but the Strix is like at the top of expensive. <laughs> um, you know, I don't know if 
if you guys have looked at it. From all the drives. Oh, drives actually just got done. How about that? So we'll move the camera anyway since that's done. It's cleaning up. It's done. Pull that. Drop that in there. Um, so here, let me flip this around. All right. The RGB in this thing is not what I would call overwhelming. You've only got three LED spots that really light up. And the top is a little less impressive than, say, a uh, FW3. No, sir. If you want RGB, you get the game rock. The, uh, the game rock is absolutely the, the thing to get for RGB. Yeah, that, that actually puts this thing to serious shame. There we go. Like, oh, there's me. Yeah, look, there's Sarah. There's, there's the disembodied voice right there. I was just asking you if you were going to feed me. Am I going to feed you? Um, I don't remember... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Liquid bread, there you go. That was the problem. <laughs> um, we got burgers, you ate burgers. Um, what do you want to do for dinner? I say... It's 9 o'clock, there's not food left. See what you can order. DoorDash it or uh, Papa John's it or something. I have your phone. Um, I do. Use your iPad and see what you can come up with. Look, I, that's not my fault. You can't, you're the one that did that. Um, give me a minute. Let me see if we can get this thing to boot up. Because if we do, then we've reached the end of the stream. And we can just move on. I'm not show my butt to everybody. You do not have a butt. Therefore, you cannot show a butt. It is not something that you possess. Uh, no, that's the lower back. Can I tell her this? No, you're seeing an asshole. There's a completely different thing at play there. It's not a butt. I'm an asshole. Can I wear my Hokie shirt? Any Hokie? <laughs> well, you've had about two hours of it so far, and they don't seem to mind at all. Let me tell you. That must be what broke YouTube. Sir, look right there. You'll see there's no registration thing. This computer has one. Has what? Registration keys. Oh. Well, oh, I'm definitely not registering tonight. <laughs> we'll be lucky if I register it sometime this calendar year, how long given how close we are to the next one. I mean, what's the problem? I didn't get to change my background. So here's a question. You're all about pay you're your taxes. New, you're getting new people. I'm getting new people. The last Lisa, well, Maude can tell you why I don't care. Maude, apparently Sarah has elected I'm, you to be the uh, the new producer. and You don't got get my cred. So. We can share. He's got to go in five minutes, so. Oh, well, then I can come back. No, nope, Sarah's back in her spot. Um, so last he says, build is looking clean. Build is looking clean. You clearly... All right, for oh, those of you... the guy from GameStop just joined. <laughs> the guy from GameStop just joined. All right, so what you missed was spectacular. Um, the case. Uh, right now, we currently have a MacBook... Uh, or a Mac Mouse box at the bottom of this thing. Because if you notice, the case is just a little wobbly. And I'm not doing that I'm barely just touching it and it's really that wobbly so um, we had to put the mouse 
box under here because the whole thing tipped over. Um, they don't have a third foot here. Uh, let me see if I can... You've got a foot here and you've got a foot over there, but you don't have a foot right here. Um, I do have feet that I can put there that came from other cases, but the problem is the whole case fell the over uh, and hit really hard. Hey, yeah, I was not pleased about that. Um, the problem with it is it's an unstable case from the get-go. Uh, looking at the box, that is how the feet go, right? I haven't put the feet on wrong. No, that's how the feet go. Um, it's just a naturally unstable case without a third leg, so that's that's really kind of a bonehead idea uh, for Thermal Take to have done. And for me to have not gone ahead and put that third foot there from the get-go. Uh, but that said, when you add a eight-ish pound video card to the front of it, it did not make things any better. But because I'm me, and because I like to chance things, I'm going to put a big-ass piece of glass on the front of it, too, because... Well, if you're going to do it and have it go catastrophically wrong, why not do it all the way catastrophically wrong? Ooh, and Windows is asking me for guess. How do you feel about a cheeseburger pizza? A cheeseburger pizza. Um, I don't super love the idea of a cheeseburger pizza because I had a cheeseburger for lunch. Okay. Um, a steak and cheese pizza I could do. Chinese food I could do. Uh, taco pizza. Tacos. From Taco Bell? Uh, tacos from Taco Bell are an acceptable option. Um, they're not what I would call real tacos, but, you know, they work. But taco pizza or Philly cheesesteak pizza, I'm, I'm kind of... Tacos sound better than pizza, honestly. Okay. What's, what's, the, uh, what's the rule in chat? Who... Uh, who wants to pick our dinner? Do we want tacos or do we want cheesesteak pizza? Mod is saying chalupa. I'm okay. I wanted Taco Bell before, but I didn't suggest it because you're not a big Taco Bell fan. I can do Taco Bell. Now the question is, do I go get it? Alex also says tacos. Or... Um, we do not have any vegetarian restaurants nearby that I am aware of. Not to say they don't exist, I'm just not aware of them because I'm not a vegetarian and therefore I would not try to know about them. Yeah, I say he's he's out to mess with. Sarah, they're changing their votes to vegetarian. Oh, you, but see, here's the thing. Here's, the, all right, you know what? This is, because I'm a team player, because I'm all about making the masses happy, here's what I'll put out there. They said I have to eat vegetarian tonight. No, don't do that. I won't be happy no, no, later. They said you don't have to eat vegetarian tonight. No, because you'll be unhappy. I'll be unhappy. <laughs> as it should be in marriage. However, comma, I will say. Oh wait, Taco Bell has a veggie crazy Holy menu. balls. Is that one of those balls over again? Are you, are you guys watching this on the stream? Casey says, happy wife, happy life. I can't agree with that anymore. Um, you're not wrong. You can get a black bean chalupa. I can get a black bean chalupa, she says. All right, I'm going to let go of this real quick. Um, and this is, oh, I didn't say I was going to not, I was going to let go of for a long time. Uh, but the box is here. Okay. Can, can you guys see the box on the stream right there? It's still there. Okay. I'm going to let go. It's now resting on the glass. Casey has a problem. It's resting on the glass. 
normal take. What the hell, man? It's supposed to stand up like this. Man. All right. I don't know which cameras. All right, we're, we're on the big camera here. Um, you see the mouse box there, right? It's doing nothing. Um, set it on the glass. Um, I'm just, I'm really surprised that their engineering is like this. Um, I'm going to have to go back and do some looking and see if there's a better way to do it. Now, Wow, all right, so I have aluminum here now, okay? I have aluminum here. And it's still so heavy that even with aluminum bracing it, like, You know what? Let's turn around here and we will use the iPad. Pay no attention to the porns. Um, we will go to Thermal Take P90. Okay? And we will go right to the place and we will look at their images. Alright? Please note their actual images of this thing show the legs in the configuration that they are currently in. That's the back view. So they are, in fact, going out on the same axis as the metal poles. Oh, it's raining outside. Don't ask me why this is a thing. So, I, I wish I had an answer. Um, I just know that, as it turns out, due to the fact that I have three other P style cases, um, I have the there are two P3s and a P5, they have these same legs. So I can put that third leg on there. And the fact that if you look at the bottom of this, they have a spot for the third set of legs. In fact, one of the things that we can do, if I can just clean up the desk real quick, um, we can actually put this on the back because it does support that. This is, this is mind blowing. All right, so. Well, I'll send them a couple timestamps because the, if you oh, remember, yeah. they also neglected to put the. Uh, Dragon says, I blame the GPU. It lifts that right leg off the table. Um, Max says, you have the setup wrong. How do I have the setup wrong? There are rubber feet that go in the cylinders to stop it from rocking. No, the rubber feet have nothing. All right, first off, there's uh, hard plastic on the back. Alex shared an image in Discord. Pull it up. To explain it. Yep, it's the feet that go at the end of the cylinder. Oh, wait, that's what those weird plastic things are, aren't they? The weird plastic things that we saw forever ago. I know what you're talking about now that you mentioned it. Oh, here they are. Yeah, it's the weird plastic things. Uh, where are they? These things. All right, so that's what these guys are for. All right, for the record, that's crap. They should have just included a third foot. Thanks, Alex. <laughs> Sorry, I 
didn't look up sooner. Interesting. So that, I still don't like that as a great answer. I like the idea of a third foot better. But let's put it on there. Let's, uh, I mean, we've only got one side for that matter, but let's do it. Well, uh, we're currently using a uh, IKEA Beckent table. That's what the table is. And it's actually one of the desks, or pieces of desk, I should say, from the last uh, game room that has survived. Max says both inner cylinders need that feed. Well, yes, the problem is, is that the other inner cylinder is not currently installed. Um, you'll notice that this whole section over here hasn't been set up because the water cooling hasn't arrived yet. Well, there we go. So, it, I don't care what you guys say. I like seeing it tip over. There was excitement. Casey says, it's all about the journey. It is. It says, they were just letting you know. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that I'll say is, um, if, you were, if you were building this without any other experience building one of their core products, um, it probably makes a little more sense to follow the directions. I think my downfall on this is having built a P3 times two and a P5, um, those don't exist because of the way that they're uh, designed on that uh, flat wall. Um, and this piece doesn't exist. So when we got it, if you remember, uh, if you were watching in the beginning, I picked it up and I said, oh, what's this? And you know, I, we would figure it out eventually. Well, we did, it just took almost wrecking the thing <laughs> in order to find that answer. Um, but that said, the real reason I got this case isn't to actually have it be an upright case like this. The reason I got the case is I wanted to have something that would be a little bit more easy to do bench builds on. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna put this back the way it'll look like uh, when it's a bench build setup, which is, and I'll have the feet hanging off the end of it because I'm just ordering you random food and then you're eating whatever I bought, order you. Oh, uh, they said I have to eat vegetarian, so. Uh, I did not order vegetarian. I'll order you one for vegetarian. Alrighty. So this. Oh, uh, I'm gonna. This is mainly how I intend to use it. It won't be stored like this. It will likely end up being stored standing upright in the corner under one of uh, the desks here, probably in that corner right over there. But I like the idea that it's in here like this. It's easily accessible. When the glass comes off, I can access anything in the water cooling and I can swap out my parts uh, over on the other side and I don't have to worry about a whole lot. One of the things that we're gonna do on this side is we're going to uh, do hard tubing over here between the reservoir and the radiator. But once we sit there and jump from this side over to here, we're gonna switch over to soft tubing with quick disconnects. That way we can put in whatever uh, video card with a water block and CPU with a water block that we want. And we can replace the motherboard as needed for whatever bench builds we wanna do. So that is that. that. That brings us to the conclusion of what I intend to do tonight. Um, I'll finish the Windows install uh, a little bit later, but we, we are at the point of up, working, tipped over, recovered, and still working with a nearly all thermal take build. I'm still really, really upset about that. Um, it, they may have gotten a pass on the case because of the little leg up here, but the power supply definitely doesn't include the needed cables for a modern motherboard. That's kind of a problem. Uh, I'll bring that up to Steve and Michael in the stream uh, later this week. That said, we are at the end of our stream. We do have uh, a couple of interesting things going on that you might want to pay attention to. We have the uh, new MacBook Air uh, in a maxed out configuration pre-bought. Um, 
not one of the custom configs, but one of the, the pre-made allocated ones. Um, we've got the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro on their way here, so we're going to do some reviews of those once they arrive. On top of that, um, we've got some giveaways coming up. Uh, we've got the 3070 giveaway when we hit 1,000 subs. We have uh, a sellaway coming up. We've got a Zotac Amp Hollow coming in. Um, and we'll also have a uh, Asus 3080 Tough. So a uh, Zotac 3080 Amp Hollow and a Asus Tough 3080 that we're going to do. Uh, one of them will end up as a giveaway. One of them will end up as a sellaway. Um, and then we still have floating around over here behind the beer. We still have a 5900X that is still brand new that is also going to get sold away uh, at some point. We're not doing it tonight. Um, a, I'd like to get uh, a few more subscribers in here before we sit there and do that. I'd like this to be uh, something that can go out to you know one of a lot of people instead of like one of uh, 11 or 12 because well, well, YouTube had issues. Well, YouTube had issues, but more importantly, I think that a lot more people should have a chance at a 5900X. Um, there's just not that many of them out there, and I'd like to make sure that a lot of people have an option to try to get it. Uh, so that's where we are. Uh, we are at the end of the stream, and remember to like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Um, share, for the love of God, share. If you want to see me tip over more computers, with really expensive hardware, share the stream and uh, get people in here, win some stuff. Don't forget, our main purpose is to do these setup videos. Not necessarily the builds that we're doing, which is kind of fun, but to actually do setup videos. So send in your setups to submissions at digitalogictv.com and enter the contest. Uh, we're going to do five people uh, against each other every single uh, episode, and you're going to be a, a given chance to win a whole bunch of cool stuff. You can get the light panels that are flashing behind me. You can get uh, motherboards, video cards, processors, RAM, all that fun stuff. In fact, we actually have uh, floating around in here a thing of RAM that I was thinking about doing a uh, giveaway for. Uh, no, I, I brought it in. Oh. It's just floating around in the prize pool somewhere. Uh, or uh, it's in here. We've got a, a brand new set of 16 gig. Uh, CAS 16 3600 megahertz uh, Trident Neo. So we might be doing a giveaway with that sometime soon. Um, but keep in mind that the 1,000 subscriber giveaway and the sellaways are completely separate. Uh, the setup contest is completely separate. There's all sorts of options you guys have got to win stuff. So submit your setups, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Sarah, kill it.